fun. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> everybody <laughs> to another <laughs> episode of Towers and Gods. We Shut are down. back. For those of you who are like, what the heck was that? Stay tuned till the end. I'm not making any promises, but stay tuned till the end. Maybe you'll be more satisfied with what, what you might have expected at the start there. But we are here. I want to introduce our incredible cast members here. We have Isaiah as Kun Jong Say. Bro, I don't even have anything. I'm just <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, bro. I'm just oh my I'm just God. a fan right now, dude. That's You're a just joke. a fan. Oh, let me, hype. Let me pull I'm hype. Uh the chat is going crazy. Yeah, y'all, I saw that I saw you donated. We're gonna get to you because holy frick, you guys are crazy. We have Milios as Brack Bronson. For the millions who have attended this fine evening. To those of you standing out there into the crowd, I have one question for you. Are you ready? Woo! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god. I, I missed you guys. I missed you guys so much. We have Sun Woo as Lopo Bia Woo. Yeah, I miss you guys too. Is it weird that I'm like nervous? <laughs> you know, like it's, yeah. been like, it's been, it's just been like a weird amount of time to where I'm like, dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll get it back. No, we'll get it back. It, it, I'm nervous too. I'm nervous too. I feel like everything is new to me. But right, it's well, now that you've it, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, we have. It's okay. Hannah as Eden. Sorry, I didn't want to cut you everybody. off there. I, it's fine. <laughs> I'm on, no, I'm hello, on everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is me. And guess what? We may not have had a stream on May the 4th. Oh my where God. it all would Here have been Star Wars puns. Thank God we didn't. And bro. everything would have been fantastic. Thank but God. kids, it's Revenge of the Fifth. They're coming back, baby, and more than ever. <laughs> it's also the Day of the Dead, Cinco de Mayo, everybody. So mm -hmm. that's totally not ominous or anything so like you know buckle your pantyhose and let's just hope you know things go well <laughs> love you guys Mwah. they always go well and finally lastly we have other joe as damien eric frog people keep asking if i'm back <laughs> and you know i don't really have an answer to that but yeah i'm thinking i'm back <laughs> yeah Let's go. Oh, no. Let's John go. Wick. John Wick. Oh my, my god. Is this I'm is this Damien's good. John Wick arc? It's everybody? Damien's John Wick arc. Let's <laughs> forgive my yeah, ketchup like the ice cream. <laughs> not forgive them. Threw it on the floor. <laughs> stop it. Stop. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Before we get to some of these super chats and before we go into the time skip discussion because it's been a while both in terms of the series being back and in terms of Team Recall climbing the tower, uh, Amy, my my new wife, has a few words. Yay! I know she wanted to, oh, she wanted to Amy, say Amy, 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 Amy
Congrats again to Joe and Amy. Amy, you're lucky to have a man like him. Oh, oh stop. Oh, stop. The Reaper will have him. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, I'm oh, sorry. Is Blaze here? Oh, my <laughs> God. What the Reaper, brother! <laughs> oh my god. I'm very lucky to have Stop. this man right here that made all this possible. Okay, okay, you set it up. You set it up. Thank They're you. so cute, uh, y'all. Thank you, Great guys. Thank you so chat. much. And thank you, Amy, for the cameo. <laughs> thank you. I'll Let's be go. watching Bye. the episode in town. Yay! Yay. Yay. If you heard her laughter, just, you know, you'll know she's, you know she's with yes. us. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Amy. Bye, Amy! Bye. All right, yeah. cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, well, with that said, everybody, we have some super chats we're going to get to. So, Hannah, I know you kept track of a lot of them, so. I kept track of all of Let's them, Let's freaking go. Thank you so much. All right, we have, and I will run through this as fast as yes, possible. Yes, speed mode. Individual memberships. Thank you to Luke Owen, Chaotic Sage, King Kenobi, Matt the Third, Berkeley, Dart Angel, Felix Mustafa, Whoa. Captain Save Hobo, and then... Captain Save a Hobo gifted 30 channel memberships. 30? Dart Angel, yes. Dart Angel, 20, 40, 60, 80. Dart Angel with 90 channel memberships. Wait, 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 DQ. wait, 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 wait. Huh? I didn't yes. see that. What the These hell? These kids have been going crazy. DQ Senpai gifted six um, subs. Felix gifted another 10, Mustafa with two, and Devlin with five for a, a total of 143, if I counted properly. Um, and then to the Super Chats, $2 Super Chat from the Chaotic Sage. I'm so hyped for the stream, peak story with a bunch of fire. Uh, Dart Angel for $5. I cannot express how much joy, philosophy, trauma, and copium these have given me. Thank you. Also, made a break, made a break, a mental breakdown. Well... Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Dart Angel with another $5 says, however, the break did give me a chance to catch up with my boy, Adam, and I'm all caught up. He's go. now addicted to Towers and Gods. Let's, Let's go. go. Well done. Well done, right. W. There yeah. you go. There you go. Huge. Then we got Luke, o Luke Owen for $50. Oh, my God. Fa found TNG during the break and binge the whole series. So glad what? to be able to join a live show and support the amazing oh content y'all are making. That's nuts. Uh, Thank you. And I'm going to catch this one before I lose it. Another $50 from Jimmy Yamarillo said, miss you guys. We missed, we you, missed too. you guys too. We missed all. Ah, thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate Yo. that. Oh my God. Uh, then we have another $5 from DQ Senpai. Best D&D series is back. We all missed you. I don't even Thank care you. if there's no story. If we get a couple hours of gas just joking around, uh, I'll be down. That's oh, sweet. That's sweet. Then we have five euros from Mark Pribbles. Hey, first time live. Started watching in January and finally caught up this week. Love the series and devotion from Joe and the rest heart. Thank and they you. send another five euros. By the way, TNG is about 16,000 minutes long. That's what? equal to 70.65% of One Piece with 22.6 minutes. No! No! no. You don't send that! No. 70% of One Piece? <laughs> no way, We're encroaching, no. boys. Wait, We're encroaching. Wait, wait, if you think about what you just said, that means that some multiple people caught up on this over the, the hiatus. Yeah. Yeah, yes. six weeks. Seventy percent of One Piece in like six. two months. No, you, you guys, bro. Wow. Hey, two times speed is a lifesaver. That's true. And he says, also that's money true. for a that's dice true. cam. Much love from Germany. Oh, shout out. Danke schön, mein Freund. Let's freaking go. Thank you. Mustafa with ten Saudi Arabian rubies. Uh, I missed you guys. And then for another 25, said trying to finish my homework before the episode starts. If I'm inactive for the beginning, well, you know why, Sag XD. Uh, hey, shout out to you. We, Good luck. You're a hard worker. Treat yourself. Yeah, take best care of luck of to you, for sure. <laughs> yes. Master Gold with $9.99. It's been so long and so much has changed since people have been married. D&D &D campaigns have started. Sonic was murdered. But <laughs> one thing hasn't changed. <laughs> huh? Lexi is oh, bad girl and it's big. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. For those not in the know, there was an April Fool's Thank you. game, Thank Murder you. of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what it was. And there's my useless Sonic trivia for the night. All right. And useless. then he follows up with another $5 saying useless Sonic fact for the week. Oh, my God. There is an official Sonic visual <laughs> novel in the game for free. I'll oh, see where he dies in the game. 10 out of 10. Free? All right. I read too. Oh. I, yeah, oh, apparently. Shoot. Okay. 
What should um, Black Reaper for $50. I'll re- quickly run through it. Congrats again to Joe and Amy. Amy, you're lucky you have a man like him. Don't lose him or the Reaper will have him. Isaiah, you have be been horrible. put on notice. That'd be horrible. Darn Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Dart Angel for two dollars says, "Hannah, let the membership roulette choose you, please." It has not. What? It's so sad. Oh gosh. After 143, I'm. I'm <laughs> me and Amy both missed. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Feels bad, man. Uh, King Kenobi for 22 Brazilian reals. Shout out. I remembered it. Very excited to join my first live stream. Shout out from Brazil to this great 60 plus episode adventure. Woo-hoo. Mark with five euros says, Guy, can we agree that Joe should get a dice cam so that Shion won't die by accident from see, stumbling in front of the hell tree? Hey, see, no. I don't know. Well, I, I, I would like to, I I would, you know. kind of spitting though. No, low because key. like that Actually implies I'm though. cheating. That implies that like I'm, I'm I mean, messing with the dice. you're not cheating? I'm just saying, bro. Oh, Every time uh-huh. you die, okay, the dice numbers are low. I'm just saying. We add one plus one is two. Do you know what I'm saying? What did, that is not one plus one equals two. Get the frick out of here. <laughs> All right, we don't have time. Let's keep... One plus one is the two, Joe, on stream. <laughs> we got to keep going. Come on. We, we, got, we don't have much right. time. Um, Matt the third says, a dollar for every point I raise this series and the cast out of 10 and a cent for every episode I've watched. All for because he, he pledged 1061. That's so what? cute. That's awesome. Very happy to join the live squad. Also, pop quiz, Joe. Dun dun. I was... In which movie did Yoda not appear? New Hope. My buzzer isn't working. He's, what, he's right, though. Yes. He's I dropped, right, I dropped so. the dice because I thought I, it is. I was, I'm right, right? New Hope? I mean, yes. I mean, because they meet. Right, so. three, but, you know. They meet. Oh. Nah, they, well, well, I they mean, meet you Yoda right, in the but, fifth movie. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah, in yeah but he's, he's, his little force ghost is at the end, so, like, it counts. Yes. In the special good. edition, though, Joe, Yoda's actually sitting in the Moss Eisley bar. He's actually giving. Oh, really? I would believe. I probably. I believe that. I believe that. Honestly. All right, I got three more. All right, three more. Let's go. Music, music haven sent 15 CA. I'm sorry, I don't know their currency but we appreciate you my life has meaning again in all caps Woo! uh mark sent another two euros saying i watched it all on normal speed oh, mark you are a whoa this <laughs> man <laughs> you want a case study of like anybody if anybody ever says i can't catch up on one piece it's too long i'm pointing <laughs> you <in your> yeah <laughs> living proof that it's possible Yep, and Mark, or oh, not Mark, Matt the third for two dollars says, "I also watched it normal speed as well." You guys well. are crazy. You Y'all guys are wild. wild. You're wild. Yeah, but respect right. for sure. Respect. Okay, speed. well, thank you all so much. Thank that, you, Hannah. That's it. Yeah, thank you so much. For all the people who have memberships, you can now use Towers and Gods emotes. And because we have so many memberships now, we can add a lot more emojis. We couldn't do it before, but now that there's so many, we can add more. So, 20 more memberships. Jimmy, stop! Jimmy, stop! What are you doing? Jimmy, Jimmy! stop! Yo, Jimmy, what are you doing? That's hot, bro. Whoa. Stop! I'll get Whoa. Some gold are you like a prince? prince today, Joe? Holy! The sky's the limit, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy, and thank <laughs> oh, you, Dark Angel. <laughs> Brad oh my gosh, Dart Angel, yeah, the 20 <laughs> memberships, the 20 memberships, and Jimmy, so are... one more, guys, for the road, much love, love to you, Jimmy, holy <laughs> Thank frick. you, guys. Oh my oh. god. You guys are nuts. Appreciate y'all. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to tell you guys to stop, though, like, you're derailing yes. the episode, and I can't believe you do this. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I'm kidding, you guys are amazing, thank you so much, oh my god, thank you. Okay. All right. Have fun using those emote DQ Senpai. Thank okay, you for the thank 10 you, memberships. Senpai, okay. Now stop it. Love you. Okay. <laughs> so, with that said, we need to talk about time skip. Time skip details. So, for those of you who do, okay, any super chats I'll read after the break. Okay. Now, we ended things on the 30th floor at the end of the workshop battle, and Team Recall was not in the best of spots. Victor is now a statue, Leaf is caught in the void. And now Team Recall wants to get them back. That's their new motivation. And uh, they ascended from the 30th floor, not as an entire team, with Damien remaining behind at the workshop and with Wu going off on his own personal mission. So I'm going to go into some details. We had an entire meeting this week to discuss what happened over the break. Uh, so over the time skips. So I'm going to go into some of those details, not all of them. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see what happens. So all right. Going from top to bottom here, and the cast, as always, just feel free to chime in. This time skip was... Se- b- 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 wait, YouTube issue? Is it all good? 
No, they can't get me a gifted membership for some reason. Oh, they're trying. They're being so sweet. Ah, that's okay. Aww. <laughs> we'll we'll figure that out. We'll Don't get we'll get Hannah a membership. It. We'll get Hannah a membership. <laughs> okay. So the time skip was seven years long, from floor thirty one to floor thirty five. Uh, once they ascended to the 31st floor, a few things happened. Uh, everybody became D rank regulars. Uh, those of you who rem uh, remember on the 20th floor, before you entered the Linquist Mansion, there was that individual who showed up to give you your new ranking. That individual would have come back and given you your new D rank ranking uh, when those of you uh, ascended all over, right? Um, two million points were distributed between three people Jong, Eden, and Brack. Damien and Wu would not have received any of the money. Um, but the three of them, Jong, Eden, and Brack, would have received the money. So two million divided between them. Also, drafted teammates Siliong, Sif, Folk, and Hoborios received 200,000 extra on the side that did not delve into the main pool. Uh, I want to throw that out there too. Uh, three items were distributed. One to Jong, one to Eden, and one to Brack. They got to choose. So we'll see if we ever find out about those. Um, but the thing is, yeah, so Wu and Damien rem remained behind throughout the entire time skip. Some rare communication with Damien. Uh, Damien, do you want to share what th that communication would have been? I sent text messages to everyone. Okay. What kind of, of text? Varying different things. Okay. Of emojis. <laughs> right? Frog emojis. <laughs> monkey emojis for Wu. <laughs> a... A... <laughs> A, a cash money symbol for Brack. <laughs> yep. A bow and arrow and an okay question mark and a question mark. <laughs> With my frog detective emoji, it didn't, it didn't get a response. Or did I get a response? <laughs> to eat? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. You were blocked. Wow! Oh my god. Oh, wait, everyone was well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Um we'll get to that. Anything else, Damien? Any other messages? Hey, how come no one's texting yes, you did. me back? Yes, you did. You sent one more. It was the funniest one we talked about. Huh? Oh, yeah. Heart... So, yeah, Blue Heart Cactus <laughs> question about the Shion. Yes! Did she, answer, did she respond? No. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Why doesn't anyone respond to my messages? My messages are so clear. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Damien. Ugh. Well, Shion didn't block you if that's any consolation, you know. It's well, they, I'm getting ghosted still. <laughs> it's even, that's almost worse, actually. You're right. Um, But anyway, so there was some communication with Damien, as you can see, but uh, no communication directly with Wu. Uh, so no one has seen Wu since their time on the 30th floor. Upon arriving on the 31st floor, Eden, in the middle of the night, decided to leave the team. Uh, middle of the night, Eden leaves. K does try to stop her but she leaves regardless of his intervention, his words. Um, so Eden's gone. Eden leaves Team Recall, doesn't explain why, doesn't leave a message or anything. Eden leaves the team. Uh, that's That about sums it up, right, Hannah? Hannah, are you there? Yes. Oh, I want to make yes, sure I don't miss my, anything. My unmute button wasn't working. Excellent. Um, yes, All right. that is it. So Eden's, Eden's flitted gone. away to the night. Yes, Eden, is, Eden left Team Recall. Uh, we, yeah, and... and Team Recall woke up, left just as confused as all of you. Um, but uh, I will say this. This left Team Recall with four members. Brack, Jong, Shion, and Hugo. The four-person team to take on the tower. Um, and over the course of the next seven years climbing, Brack still had not learned anything about Victor or Leaf. Uh, he thinks Victor went off to do coon things. And for some strange reason, he, ha he thinks that he had a fancy statue made out of him. Uh, so that is what Brack knows about Victor and Leaf. That is the extent of his knowledge. Um, Brack and Hugo continue their relationship, mostly on Brack's part. Brack forcing him to go out on various, uh, various, uh, escapades and go out and have some fun. Uh, and Hugo tags along, kind of almost reluctantly. Uh, Brack is taking care of Frace Felger over the time skip. And when it comes to, uh, fate abilities, more in control. Flux Volk is not present with Team Recall, so Team Recall isn't directly able to use their abilities. However, when it comes to the feelings that they would get sometimes in the migraines, it's much more peace, much more control over it. Um, they don't really feel like pain anymore regarding migraines. It's more like they understand the powers are latent within them, and it's almost their body is almost saying it's okay. that it, It's getting used to it almost. Um, Jong still occasionally hearing whispers. Race Velger, uh, 
Hrace Belger's new position is, is quote-unquote, Big Boss Hrace in the Syndicate. Uh, he has been sort of trained by Brack to be more chaotic neutral, but is still the caring Hrace we know and love. Still not quite the old Hrace Velger from the start of the series, but but still Big Boss Hrace. That is, that is Hrace's new name. Uh, okay. You may remember that when they arrived, when they ascended from the 30th floor, uh, Dungun and Mazi were on Team Recall. So, Mazi left right after they climbed. Just no question. Mazi left, and that was that. But Dungun kind of wanted to stick around. Uh, the team said no. Uh, the team did not want Dungun to stick around. Uh, Isaiah, you want to comment on that? Why, why didn't you want... What's going on there? I mean, I don't know what you want me to say, bro. <laughs> Grass is grass, dirt is dirt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he had to God. go. Okay. He didn't cut it. Okay, sure. He to cut. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, however, there was a uh, something that went down with Dongun. Uh, Jong ended up making a deal with another team. Uh, if they accepted Dongun into their team, it, and and so something happened. I won't go into detail there, but Jong ended up making a plan with another team regarding Dongun. We'll we'll see we'll see about that potentially down the line. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention was that. There is a certain individual who is uh, sending donations and funds to the syndicate over the uh, over the seven years that we we have this time skip under the name Uwu. <laughs> a certain individual is sending. Do I will not say who. That it, I'll leave it up to your imagination. <laughs> um, but Uwu has been donating to the syndicate for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad Hannah's laughing deviously. <laughs> All right, cool. Ooh -woo. Yeah, ooh woo. So that keep that in mind as we go forward. Um, also, uh, the the uh, Tower Tube channel, Leafs Tower Tube channel, has been maintained over the time skip uh, by Woo. Woo has been posting content occasionally there once again. Okay, I'm now going to go into detail regarding the floors. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty brief. A brief summary. Floor 31 was pretty simple. Uh, the They didn't spend a ton of time there, Team Recall. Um, however, because of the lack of positions in their team, Brack started specking into being a spear bearer, uh, taking on the role of spear bearer for the team because they have so many fishermen already. So Brack has been starting to utilize uh, his harpoon for spear bearing recently. Hugo has been trying his best at being a scout. However, he's terrible at observers. He's really good at hearing. His listening skills are pretty top notch. Um, however, despite these innovations, they still needed a light bearer. So with Jong as the new team leader of Team Recall stepping up, and that's right, Kun Jong Se is now the leader of Team Recall. Uh, I, that was something I probably should have mentioned. Uh, he hired a new light bearer for the team named Rain Road, a an enigmatic girl who rarely talks, but she really likes butterflies. She's an above average light bearer, and she's being paid 50k points per test, and is allowed to also travel with them. So, everybody, let's a round of congratulations for Kun Jong Se for becoming the leader of Team Recall. Round of applause. Round of applause. Uh, other thing, so fast. They, they sure do, don't they? Uh, Jin Xion being the assistant leader as well of the team. Um, uh, floor 31 is pretty simple, though. Uh, a fairly basic floor with every season uh, being experienced. Fall, winter, summer, spring. Floor 32 is where they spent a majority of their time. They hunted this creature called the Many-Eyed Brother, this large, elusive beast. They worked together with these natives of the floor to hunt it down. The natives saw this creature as their god, um, but they the god is, like, challenging them every time it reappears, every, like, decades every few decades or so um so after a couple years of spending time with the uh inhabitants of the floor they were able to hunt it down kill the beast and uh jong and rain did some extra research into the beast and apparently it, there was a much larger variant of it that they never discovered okay the fight lasted one full day pretty much with brack delivering the finishing blow floor 33 was pretty simple just a bunch of islands and then floor 34 was Draknar forest where they spent uh, more years having to escape a fortress. It was a very long and grueling test where they had to work together. Uh, and it, it's called Lord of the Ward. They had to become the leaders of various wards in this fortress to escape it, essentially. Um, at the end of it, uh, certain things happened. I won't go into too much detail, but let's just say uh, an argument ensued 
and uh, Jong Rain Road did, didn't get along about something, and Rain Road left the team on floor 34. So, there you go. Okay. Which means we are now arriving at floor 35. The four members of Team Recall arriving on floor 35. They arrived a couple weeks ago, managing to travel across floor 35 on their way to Train City. Before I say that, though, does anybody want to say something that I left out of the time skip? Go once, going twice. Let's go. All righty, we're good. We are good. At the time where we are picking up with the story, Team Recall, Jong, Rack, Hugo, and Shion, you are now arriving at Train City. You're on one of those uh, passenger cars of uh, nearby Train City where a bunch of people can line up and it takes you around. But you are finally arriving at the main city. Uh, the train is pulling into the stop. Bump, bump, Train City, Train City. And the doors open up. And a bunch of people are getting off alongside you. Train City, I'm going to change the background here. Train City is a fairly large city that you you notice there's a big hustle and bustle. You're unsure if it's because the Hell Train is departing any day now, according to the rumors. They don't have a specific day that it's departing. Um, however, regardless, it's busy with lots of shops and restaurants and hotels and stores being scattered around. So you're kind of getting off bumping shoulders with everybody. There we go. And there's just trains everywhere pulling in, departing, conductors waving, and all kinds of people uh, wandering around. Uh-oh, it looks like we had a bit of a speed bump in the stream. Some hiccups here. You're That's good now. Fun. Am it, I good now? Are we good? Yeah, it happened to me as well, but you're good. Was it able to catch the audio at least? Uh, I can't say for sure, because, uh, you know. Okay, we are live now. Okay, we're live uh, now. Let me go ahead and uh, refresh this. People who are watching, uh, was there anything that I missed or were you able to uh, hear the gist of things? Smooth now? All right, good. Very good, very good. Wait, let me just take another second here. The audio is fine. You were able to catch everything. Okay. Let me make sure. I'm seeing yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. The whole layout froze on Discord, so that's what I saw. Oh, really? But, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Got it. but it's fine now. We're fine now? Okay. Worst case, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but it seems like we're back now. Okay, lots of trains. We heard most of it. We're good. Okay, then, with all of you exiting this train and uh, entering Train City, we'll, we'll start there. <sighs> ah, she owns stretches. Finally, we're here. She looks around. This is everyone, huh? She looks at Jong, Brack, Hugo. She even looks back at you, Jong. Are you sure everything's fine with Rain? Xion, I told you, it's fine. We just had a disagreement, that's all. It happens. <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe we'll encounter her again, but she was yeah. pretty useful. I would... She was a light bearer, Xion. We can find another one. I know, and uh, hopefully we'll meet some of our old teammates here, huh? If we all remembered what our goals were. Come on, let's go. Let's go look around. All right. You get off the train uh, and start looking around. I'm going to go ahead and show us Kun Jong Se over this past seven years. Look at my screen. Oh. Kun Jong Se has oh. arrived. Oh. Here we okay. are. Kun Jong Se, leader of Team Recall here in the flesh. Like the speed. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> huh? Nobody will ever stop that reaction. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> he said, "Okay." <laughs> All right. 
That's a move. It's I, a play. It is a <laughs> move. Emilio's being like, Brack would have given him fashion tips. <laughs> Jeez, y'all, y'all coming out the Yo. gate swinging. I think he oh looks amazing. God. He's got, he's got the cool. Vic, he's got the Victor mullet starting. I love it. I Wait. think it's goaded. Yeah. Chat is saying he's hot, really. so I think that's, you know, that says something. I really like it. Yeah, but he was like always it. hot. Oh. oh! Thank you, Damien. Oh, oh, thank whoa, you, Damien. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, that's my little brother you talking about. <laughs> just, just well, young hold man. on, hold on. Ooh, I'll allow it. I'll allow it just this once. <laughs> he was a handsome young man. Now he's hot. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. My son is grown we up. Cleared that Look up. at him. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Jong, you kind of turn to look at Shion. Shion has been training hard over the time skip. You can look at my screen here. Tell me the art. There you go. Shion's been oh, training hey, hard. What the <laughs> fuck is your pro Shion right, is here. We're going to make Isaiah right, act up. <laughs> we, we here. Shion's not going to be yours no more, John. Well, guys, it was a great stream. Isaiah's going to have to leave now. <laughs> yeah. He's... Uh, so yes. She took some fashion tips from Eden, incorporating the red again. I feel like you've said that so many times over the course of the series. She wears so stuff many so characters. well often. I love it. She looks like a Mortal oh Kombat character. I love it. Dude, Yo, it's so, I just it's so sick. You just it's so combat ready. You just you haven't missed. You just, <laughs> I need you to know you have a just, day in your life ever. I'm gonna ever. say this. I think. I think. Shion might be able to respond to Damien now. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> the blue heart cactus question mark. Oh, like, okay, 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 we'll see. Oh, is that we'll see. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I was gonna say too, she been working out. <laughs> Dude, in the head, it's... No, it's perfect, it's actually perfect. Shion, Shion is here, the, the leader and vice leader of Team Recall in the flesh. Okay. Uh, so, what is Brack doing at this point? Who cares? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, oh okay. Oh, That's no, your no, way no. of clapping back. No, because... no, no. <laughs> with the shots being fired, bro. Nah, man. He, 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 he in love right now. He's smitten. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> he love. Is that your way of clapping back because of Milios' comment? <laughs> earlier at your <laughs> you know what yes <laughs> okay okay he's pleading the fifth he's pleading the fifth oh my, my god. client pleads the fifth oh my god oh. cool so so what what is brack doing brack is uh brack has a stogie in his mouth right now as he's fapping out the newspaper yep. walking off the train and he's discussing things with big boss he's like I was totally in the right about that situation back on the 34th floor, right? Pretty no, no, no. You you don't. No, 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 no. I was in the right. She should have told me. Okay? Okay? Now, we got to figure out a way to get a variety of water on this floor. What are you thinking, big boss? So as, as Trace Velger starts scanning the area, rubbing his chin, I'm going to go ahead and show Brack over the time skip. The man himself, Brack Bronson. Oh, holy. Brack Bronson <laughs> in the oh, flesh. Cool. That coat is fire. Damn, he really uh, did it to him, bro. Yeah. Wait, what? Did... <laughs> yeah, you got the brooch too? Hold on. Bro. Batman Joker <laughs> Damn, going bro. on too. Oh, that's fire. Wait, what's on the cuffs? Is it Syndicate? Syndicate. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> what do you that's think? Fire. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Uh, I said, yo, everyone got hotter. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that wait. how ties are supposed to Is that to like, a, is that like a, a harpoon, like, in a snake on the lapel? It's a mm -hmm. mopey bang. It's a mopey oh, bang. That's what, I, that's, what I thought it, that's what I thought it was. Okay, okay. Yeah. And he's got the harpoon skewered through it, bro. You love that to see is. it. You love to see Damn. it. Damn. <laughs> so, Brack, you're stepping out of the train, race Velger, uh, you know, with you. Uh, and then behind you, you just hear uh, Hugo. He doesn't say anything, but he's climbing out of the train right behind you, just kind of following behind. I'll go ahead and show Hugo on screen Hugo here. Ooh! Man, it's looking so okay, smooth out of that Did that sure get tighter? Yeah! Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, look like he going on uh, yes. one time and that whole shirt going bro. Keep my man. I can go clothes shopping with you. You know they sell extra large, right? <laughs> bro, he bought it, fitted like that for. <laughs> right. I mean, you know what? Right, you know what? You're right. And I ain't complaining. I'm merely just addressing what everybody's thinking. It's a lost. And nobody else complaining. But everybody else loves it. <laughs> Hugo is here. Hugo is here. So he he's just right behind you. You notice he kind of stops, scans the area. He looks over at you, Brack, as if to say where we're going. Big H? Where mm -hmm. we're going? He shrugs. I mean, I, I, I don't know either. Uh, Blue leader, where are we going? <laughs> I'm going to assume you were talking to me, Brack. <sighs> we are going <laughs> to look for information on how to get tickets to the train. What you said, Big H. Hugo nods. All right, sounds good. Also, uh, we were supposed to meet with somebody here, right? If I remember correctly. From the 30th floor. Who was it again? Leonida. She looks at you, Jong. I'm sorry, dude. I'm <laughs> straight up just looking at my <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, maybe oh, I should so stop sorry. cutting to her when I have something important <laughs> <sorry>. to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He needs time to work into this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, give, give Izzy some time, but I want right. to keep seeing it, though. So <laughs> how we got to work it out. Sure, sure. All right, I'm back. I'm all back. right, I'm all back. right. I'm back. Did you get any news from Leonida? Any updates? No, not that I know of. Gotcha. You start hearing some of the chatter from regulars nearby. They're all kind of chatting with each other and you notice there's a big group of them walking by and they all are uh being louder than everybody else oh my god oh, did you guys hear what, what, what was it that new merc they're crazy i can't believe the duke hired her that's crazy and they're all walking by and somebody else says I, apparently he's selling his ticket soon what the duke of bones yeah apparently so and you notice that most of the regulars are heading towards a certain hotel that is nearby. I actually have to pull up another dock. Sorry, I have like five of them on my screen. Uh, let me pull this one up. My train city document, okay. So the hotel that they're heading towards, a majority of them is called Bus Bank Beds. All like one word with all the capital Bs. So it's kind of like got BBB above it, Bus Bank Beds. Um, and most of the regulars are heading in that general vicinity. There you go. Huh. How much you want to bet that's got to do with getting on the train? It's worth a shot. All right. Come on, guys. This way. All right. All four of you start heading off in that direction. But first, Jong and Brack, go ahead and roll perception for me. Oh, my Lord. Hot diggity dog. First roll of the break. <laughs> oh, oh dun, boy. Dun, dun. I said perception, right? Say that Brack takes a look perception. at those Ooh. movies. Wait, you said perception? Perception. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's going to be a 23. <laughs> oh, nice. oh starting off know. strong. I was really hoping to be Good natural team. one and Joe would oh, be thank like, you, Hannah. I, 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 uh... No, no, no. no because... <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Jong is distracted by <laughs> Oh, uh, that been great. You know, there was a great, great line that. could have worked. That. Sorry. That worked. So 15 and a 23. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, all good. All good. So, uh, Jong, uh, be, being the leader, you've taken on this responsibility of sort of making sure that the general vicinity you're in, especially new areas, are, are safe. And you're kind of looking around, making sure that there aren't any dangerous regulars nearby. And you kind of do a double take. You look over and then you, you look over again because you see... Somebody stepping out of a train. Somebody that you haven't seen in quite a while. Oh, fuck. I knew you were going to say that, bro. Who is it? Somebody who I... Who... You start to hear their voice. You start to hear their voice. I just tagged someone on Discord. I just tagged someone on Discord. I sure did enjoy the ride. <laughs> what did you guys think? I mean, to be honest, I feel like these trains aren't exactly uh, at their fullest potential right now. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I mean, even though we got the business class, I mean, 
My leg still hurt. The seats were pretty nice, I will admit. Jong, you see purple hair that you couldn't forget anywhere. However, you do a double take because the individual with purple hair looks a little bit different. Go ahead and look at my screen here. You see Damien Frog step out of oh. the train. Bro, what? that's hard. That's hard. No, that's not Damien Frog. That's, Matt, bro. <laughs> that's hard. hard bro. That's hard. Oh. Somebody um, go tell Damien his brother's here, bro. Like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> The I, Damien Frog. Damien Frog. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that is. I love it. Uh, you notice that there is an individual Jeez. next to Damien uh, who steps out of the train as well behind him. Who She's quite large. She's physically very imposing and she's silent next to him. She almost looks like she's scanning the area as if uh, similar to what you were doing. As if to uh, make sure that there aren't any uh, threats in the general area. And there's somebody else next to Damien as well, who's wearing some glasses and is holding kind of like a, a little notebook under his tucked under his arm, uh, with a, like a scientist coat, like a lab coat. And they're looking around. He's looking around as well. All right. Well, it's been a long trip. Let's get some rest. Agreed. Uh, should we go to that hotel over there? You think? Huh? Well, I mean, we have the budget for better rooms, don't we? Yes. However, most of the regulars seem to be heading in that general vicinity. I wasn't sure if that meant that there was a connection between that and the Hell Train. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'll stop and get some stall food before we get there, though. <laughs> uh, the big woman behind Damien grunts. I knew you would agree. <laughs> Jong, do you? How do you react to this? Jong turns around. And he eyes Damien, and he eyes the people that are with him. And he taps Xion on the shoulder. Hmm. And, like, makes a motion with his head in his direction. Her eyes grow wide. Is that Damien? Yep. Or at least a pretty good approximation of him. He's already here? I thought he was going to be at the workshop for five years. He climbed here in two years. Interesting. I feel like Brack at this point you probably would have picked up on on what's happening as well, probably noticing Damien. Especially with your role. So Brack looks over, squints a little bit because he's kinda unrecognizable. He goes, uh Big Boss, is that who I think it is? It is? When you look mm -hmm. over, Grace Velger's not on your shoulder anymore. Pick, pick, pick. Yep, that's him. And Brack just starts walking over there. <laughs> Damien, as you start approaching the hotel, what, what, what? You don't really hear anything, but suddenly you feel a presence on your shoulder. <laughs> Get it off me! <laughs> no! The man next to you immediately she reaches for a weapon, and the big woman starts putting her hands together. But you notice Rack wave walkers to stop oh. the dude with the weapon. The the big woman? Oh no, the dude with the weapon. Okay. Yeah. As soon as you do, he's preparing to attack you. But then uh, uh well actually, you know what? You know what? Uh, go ahead and make a deck save, Brack. Go ahead and make a deck save for me. Seventeen. Seventeen? You try to stop and you're successful. You're able to catch his arm as he brings out a needle. The hell you think you're doing to my frog your frog and then immediately the big woman creates a bang of shinsu and throws it at you i need you to make another deck save wait joe i'd like to can i can i 20, fire 30, a bang 20. at that bang sure so so you said 20 right Brett? yeah dirty 20 dirty 20 she fires the bang of shinsu a massive bang at uh at brack and then as you were able, you, you probably would have been able to dodge anyway, but Jong's bang comes clashing through, splitting the bang off as it fires off in random directions. I want to throw the guy at the girl who threw the bang. <laughs> okay. uh, so we're starting with the combat so, uh, episode. Uh, I, mean, I, 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 did it, bro. Oh, I am no, trying no, to defuse the situation here. I, I'm, at this, at this I, point. I'm gonna, respect. I'm going to need you to make an athletics check for me, please. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 
I'm rolling. I'm rolling in the money today. That is, you said a what check? Athletics. Athletics? I think my athletics is plus four or five. Go ahead and check just to just to make sure. Hold up. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, I wanna. This could be close. Oh, it's a plus. If, that a six? If you're that's proficient, yeah. Six. So that's a 24. 24. Okay. So you try to throw the guy into the woman. Um, you grab him. And for a second, you think he's going to resist you. You feel like this pulsing power come from his body. But you're just barely able to shove him into the woman. He backs into her. She grunts. And they're See, all, you're now, all looking around at each other. Why did you attack me knowing daggone well that I tower you? The both of you. I told you it was my frog. And yet you attack. He charges at you. Little, little frog. Tell them. You're attacking our friend. He swings his needle at you once again. I, I pull I put out a barrier. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Hey Race Felger, how you doing? Race Felger's just hopping it's up. It's been a there. long time, hasn't it? <clears throat> I'm sorry for the misunderstanding, guys. I uh, know these guys. Simon, Robin, this is Brack. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. And Simon sheaths his needle, and uh, Robin kind of <sighs> lets out an exhale. It's an honor. It's understandable. it's understandable. They've changed a lot in the last seven years. Do your friends always greet you this way? Uh, well probably my fault for the big misunderstanding you guys will have to forgive our large friend he's uh prone to physical outburst when provoked uh, i totally understand robin you're kind of similar right and she's like elbows him hard <laughs> robin's not much of a talker <laughs> hugo looks over with an eyebrow raised as if to say who is this she's weird um, Simon takes a bow. A pleasure to meet you, Team Recall. My name is Simon Dreyfus. I am one of the teammates of Damien during his climb. And this is Jung. my companion, Robin. And Robin nods. Jong extends his hand to Simon. He shakes it firmly. Kun Jong say, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Kun Jong say. And uh, who's the lovely lady? This is Xion. Jin Xion. And she shakes his hand as well. Pleasure. I give Jong a big hug. It's so good to see you, Jong. Oh my god. He <laughs> didn't respond to my messages. <laughs> oh yeah, must have forgot. <laughs> oh, you need to fix your brain of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Says the dude wearing a metal arm. Will you get off of me? <laughs> Yeah, sure, no problem. I know personal space and all, but wow, you guys look so different. So do you. Yeah, it's kind of a long story. Wanna go get something to eat? My treat, of course. So uh, as you say that, all of a sudden your pockets start beeping. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. boop. All of you in the area, except for Simon and Robin. Receive a message. You pull it up on your pockets and it says, I want to make sure I get this name right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, I didn't. No, I did. I did. Give me a sec. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I had a clever name. Yeah. Oh, it says, meet at the chewing train at 3 p.m. L. Ew. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it just Damn. sounds sus. <laughs> like, who's chewing on trains, bro? What's going on out here? <laughs> you all received this message. Simon kind of looks over your shoulder, Damien. Oh, guess we're not invited, eh? So, wait, everybody except for Simon and, uh, and Robin, the yeah. other girl and Robin got it? Yep. Hugo, Shion, Jong, Brack, Damien. Oh, that's too bad. Who's this? Who's L? Well, there's only one way to find out. I would assume it's Leonida. She said she'd meet us here after all. 
Who is that again? <sighs> she kind of looks at you concerned. Did you lose more than... Is your arm okay? Did you... You you, you okay? What, what? Oh, yeah. You're going to address okay. the elephant in the room, or...? Huh? Oh, well, this is my weapon. Your your scissors are your weapon. I mean, they were my weapon. And in a way, these are my scissors. Huh? Oh, I see you're as clear and direct as ever. I mean, I don't really know how else to describe it, but it's a different kind of form now. You, you don't have the scissors anymore? Well, these these are the scissors, is what I'm trying to you, say. You don't have the scissors anymore. These, these, yeah, in a way. Huh. And we used the material of the scissors and transformed it into the gauntlet. Uh, Damien, are we sure we should talk about this here? Anybody could be listening. Oh, well, I mean, it is what it is. I trust these guys. And, but, I mean... Okay, you, you know, you find... You rank no, regulars actually and think, observers. Hmm? I actually think he's right. We should find some place uh, a little more secluded if we're going to keep this conversation going. Don't you think? Can we get some cool local food, though? I'm kind of starving. I'm assuming we can get a bite to eat at the pub, but me and Robin are going to go somebody, somewhere else and let Team Recall have their space. But it really was an honor meeting all of you, and I hope you take good care of Damien. But we'll see each other soon. Damien? Sounds good. Forward me the uh, the hotel room. Damien, remember uh -huh. what my father said? No DVDs. No, no DVDs. No DVDs. I'm not, I'm going to a food, I'm going to a food stall. I know. No DVDs. Not even like a video nope. store? Nope, or nope, like nothing. A... No video games, no DVDs, no CDs, nothing. That includes Tower Ray DVDs. All right. Now, DVD stand for what again? We'll catch you later. All right, let's go, Robin. <laughs> Robin follows Simon as they wade back into the crowd, uh, away from all of you towards the hotel. There's various monitors all over the Hell Train, some of them displaying, like, news and events and music videos and songs. You see King performing on one of the uh, monitors, but the audio can't be heard from his performance, but it's apparently his new single. Um, and you also see that what kind of takes the cake. The, the main monitor uh, seems to be a, a show hosted by regulars, and it's like an announcement that's echoed throughout the area. Attention, regulars! The Duke of Bones is now selling his Hell Train tickets. Attention, all regulars! The Duke of Bones is now selling his tickets. Meet at the loft if you want to buy tickets. And everyone starts freaking out. It's almost causing, like, a stampede as everybody starts panicking and realizing that they have to go meet with the Duke. And then so, you want me to take care of the crowd, guys? <laughs> we'll oh, be no, able to get a ticket like much easier. You mean... Can I raise one eyebrow? I won't stop you. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would I do that, Shion? Come on. It was a joke, clearly. I let's just. She looks over where the announcement was made. We do need tickets, right? And apparently, the train leaves any day now. She looks back at you, Jong. Yeah. I think we should prioritize those tickets. It's a good idea. It's about noon now. We have a few hours before it's time for the meeting with L. All right. Sounds like a plan then. Get ourselves some tickets. I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Let's see what the line looks like. Now, uh, as you say this, uh, Shion looks over at you, Brack. Yes, she warrior. I told you facts, not facts. to. <laughs> <Can't kill me. laughs> All right. So the five of you decide to head towards uh, the loft. You you know, you stop and you ask for some directions. I would assume you, you kind of try to figure out where everything is. And one of the people you talk to says, uh, you're planning to meet with uh, the Duke. Is that odd? It's not odd per se, but I wouldn't recommend it. And why is that? He looks around, one of the shopkeepers. It's the Duke of 
Bones. You, you've heard of the Band of Bones, I assume. The gang that runs kind of like Church City? Looks around. She only Let's say that her. we haven't. What's the big deal with them? They're a gang that's been collecting tickets from people who want to board the train here for months now. They've practically run this city, and the administrators or nobody stops them because they're not technically doing anything against the rules of the tower. But the scariest thing? Apparently the Duke hired a new merc. Aki. I'd stay far away from the Duke. Apparently this merc is massacred dozens already. I'd stay far, far away if I were you. Well, why would we be afraid of the mark? We're not doing anything wrong. You're a strong team, right? I can tell just by looking at you. Duke doesn't like strong teams. Thinks they might have tickets. Thinks he might smell that you might have more to add to his collection. Hmm. All I'm saying is I'd trade with caution if I were you. Fair enough. Thanks for the advice. He nods. Hugo what? kind of folds his arms at that information, contemplating. But after two seconds, he like leads the way towards finding the loft, as if it doesn't really bother him. I'm actually inclined to agree with Hugo. As they all walk away, I want to say that uh, Brack waves the pay train over uh, yes. to him. Yes, sir. So this Duke, right? Mm -hmm. He has these tickets that he's trying to sell, right? Right. But he's a Duke, right? Uh, uh, he looks around. Don't. Uh, if you say this in front of the band of bones, you could get. Uh, you nah, could I'm not get worried killed, about no bag so... of bones. Now, ba the question ba is: uh, okay. <laughs> How much money does that Duke has if he's employing that merc? Oh, he's filthy rich. I don't think oh, he's a real. And when, and when he says that. Jong stops because he knows Brack just heard that. <laughs> yeah. Brack. What? I'm just going to see the Duke. Brack, not now. We just a wonderful got Duke of Train floor. City. Brack he has just got here. He has money. Brack. Isn't that where just... we were heading anyway? Jean, exactly. Know. Listen to I'm Shiro. trying to stop him. We can't stop Brack if we're already gonna be where the Duke of Bones is. <sighs> All right. And then he just turns to Shion and says, I didn't warn you when this goes south. She shrugs as if it's not her fault if things go south. Um, but then the man turns to you again, Brack. He's not a real duke. He's just a gang boss. Okay, okay. But he's duke adjacent in terms of money, right? I I'm not sure what a duke is worth, but sure. Good enough. You said he's filthy rich. He has tickets. <laughs> that sounds like a win-win in my book. Yeah, of course. So all we have to do is just beat this Duke's butt, take his pocket, along with his big bank, and we're good. Um, and the tickets, of course. Uh, of course, of course. Um, by the way, not that you have to, but would you like to buy a cinnamon roll? If you do not get out of my face with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I simply, because, have a nice day. <laughs> this man looks at my attire. <laughs> Sees the sophistication <laughs> and decides to offer me a sugary treat. Says the guy who likes strawberry water. Strawberry water is natural and delicious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Brack can't fault the locals. I mean, you know, clearly they don't have as uh, refined taste as you do. Oh. The man looks over at you, though, Damien. Uh, sir, how about you? You seem like someone who would like a good, nice cinnamon roll. Hmm. Oh, I've had cinnamon rolls before. No, thank you. All right. Take, take care, everybody. They have two L's in a row. <laughs> you all leave the shopkeeper behind and uh, continue on your quest to find the loft. Now, if it was a mustard roll, mm, that would be interesting. Okay. So would you be interested in a mustard roll, Harry Spelger? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Of course, Harry Spelger would agree. 
Now, you're on your way to find the loft, and after a few twists and turns, you notice some more about Train City, aside from all the monitors, aside from all the announcements that are being made. You notice that off in the distance of the city, uh, most of the buildings are kind of like a dullish ground, gray color, kind of all color the same. It's kind of a boring looking city, but still packed with people. But you notice in the distance, there is an elevator being built, uh, and, and if you get close, you're getting closer to the elevator, because the loft is nearby, apparently, and it says under construction. It's this huge, tall elevator with, like, massive floor that is being built and there's a bunch of people on the construction team for this elevator um before long though i'm gonna say at about 1 p.m takes you about an hour considering the crowd and everything you're able to arrive at the loft the loft is a bit of a strange place it is another older elevator in this old building uh and there's a single guard outside He's a muscle-built man, kind of looks like Bulwark a little bit. Uh, however, he has black gloves and a black shirt with a white skull on both gloves and shirt. And he looks over at you as you approach. Kind of nods his head upward. I nod my head up back. <laughs> he nods again. I guess that we have his approval. <laughs> Hi, we're uh, we're looking for the Duke. He points to the door. All right, come on, can Thank you give very us much. A we just walked in now. See, we're cool, me and him. Chat says, "Does he have hair?" No, he does not have hair. I said he looked like Bulwark. <laughs> like, I feel like that's kind of a given, but <laughs> he looks like Bulwark with hair. <laughs> <laughs> is that the only feature you describe Bulwark as? Is bald? Come on, Joe. Built and bald. Right. Bald and built. Walk Brack, like, clean. walking by, he's just, like, holding his... Yeah, he, like, he's Mr. holding clean his... Head ass, bro. That's it. <laughs> Trying not to bully this man. He looks like Bulwark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> holding his breath. <laughs> okay. You arrive in this elevator, this old crickety elevator. It shakes as it slowly uh, rises. There's a couple times where it kind of, like, like, starts cracking a little bit, and you start to be like, is this elevator going to break? But it carries you to the top. Ten floors up to the attic, it appears. It's like this dark room. It's like a shrouded room. And as you open the elevator door, ah, three regulars fly into you as they try to make it back into the elevator. Ah, get out of my way! Get out of my way! And they, they push you out of the way and climb to the elevator and start pressing the button to head back down. And the door is shut. Oh, Kurt, that was... Uh... I looked inviting. Oh, I wanted to grab one of them. <laughs> Do you, we can say you want, like, as the door is closing, you want to try it? Yeah, Brack tries to grab one of them. <laughs> okay, well. go ahead and give me, this time, <laughs> do, like, sleight of hand, because you're trying to, like, do it before the elevator door closes. I think that's a 14. That's enough. That's enough for me. You uh, you grab the smallest, the small looking regular. He's like a shrimp of a dude. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Are, do you work for them? Are you one of the band of boats? Brock plucks him out, puts him up in front of his face. Yes, He's looking him. at him. Uh, hey there, little fella. Um, <laughs> what's what's going on with you? I just want to go home, please. I just want to be back in my room. You want to be back in your room? What's going on? What's got you so scared there, little fella? <laughs> And it's a g -g -g gang. We we tried to we tried to ask for less money for our tickets, and he, he he threatened to he threatened to beat us up and throw us out into the streets. Less money for your tickets. <clears throat> <clears throat> My bad. Intrusive thoughts. I was uh. Brack. Forgive me. She Brack is trying to be a changed person. Um, <laughs> one second. What type of did you happen to see the Duke of Bones weapon? He he doesn't have a weapon. He at all. You know his position? No one knows. Mm, you're useless to me. No, don't kill Anybody me, please! Please don't kill me! And by the way, his teammates abandoned him. They just kept pressing the button and back <laughs> down. <laughs> After you grabbed him. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything they want to say? No, Brack. Right. You can let him go. All right. There you go, little fella. Actually, Brack, and Shion, Shion grabs his arm. We One more oh. before you do go. Oh. How much was he charging? 500000 a ticket? Up hundred thousand. Right. And she lets go. He scrambles into the elevator. He has to wait because it's, you know, down at the bottom floor. So he just kind of looks around and before long he descends as well. Sounds like we're going to have to do some negotiating. 
the leader, we're not paying that price. Oh, of course not, Brack. Don't worry. We'll find somebody to get those tickets. I'm just saying, Brack's plan is rob them. <laughs> I know that's your plan, tickets, Brack. That's your only plan ever. Money. We're richer. Look. He's poor. Let's just get a read on the situation, all right? We'll go from there. Deal? I'm not going to say deal, but I'll shake your hand. There you go. <laughs> all right. I say to Shion, ah, oh, it's like I never left. Ah, <laughs> uh, welcome so back, Damien. You. Are you joining our team for real, or what about your other friends? Huh? Oh, my other friends are hired to escort me to the train. We are technically separate teams right now, but I'll follow your guys' as a lead right now. Hmm. What's your team name? Team, uh... You, you know, we'll we'll save that for another time. <laughs> she kind of gives, raises an eyebrow. Got it. All but of you. All right, guys. Cool. Let's uh, let's go meet the Duke. It's like a long hallway, but again, the, the top of it and like the cracked ceiling with light filtering in it reminds you of like an attic. It's like a whole upper floor. It's a hallway. It's a wide hallway with door with uh, old broken doors on the side that lead to basically nothing. And before long, your footsteps start creaking across the floorboards um you start seeing a couple of what appears to be uh, let me see here yeah a couple of what appear to be uh members of the band of bones people who look very similar to the guy that you encountered uh, at the bottom of the elevator uh except with hair uh some of them kind of just you know standing there with their arms crossed a couple of them with like a needle on their shoulder and looking at you as if Wondering, you know, gazing at you up and down to see what you're made of. You start walking past them. They're all wearing the black gloves and the white skull on, on the glove. And before long, the hallway widens into a massive room. You see shadows of people, the band of bones, all laughing and muttering with each other. But in the middle, there's a big crack in the ceiling with a beam of light shining down on a man sitting in a throne chair. He's got his knee up. He's leaning back. He looks as if he's the guy who owns the floor. The entire floor, 35th. He's a muscular man with a black jacket and gloves featuring the white skulls as usual. Short black hair and a handsome face. The jacket lies open to show off his chest and his abs and he is built. He's sitting in his throne with a confident face as he's smirking at the newcomers who are entering his domain. How many? Five regulars, huh? Motion with his fingers. Come on in. Zhang leans over to Xion. I don't think you could look any more dukely if you tried. <laughs> she laughs. You all slowly step up. And as you step up, the band of bones, you feel people in the shadows kind of walking behind you as if to block your exit. Not threatening you, but, you know, a little intimidating. I so my... I take it you're the Duke? I'm oh, okay. sorry. Go ahead, Damien. I Damian. was going to ask. Can I use my superior eyesight to see how many targets there are in the room? Perception. Oh, so I'm superior eyesight? Oh, shit. No, that's, I just have normal eyesight. I just said <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> You guys were like, oh, whoa. Oh, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a liar. <laughs> oh, that's a cool skill. That's nice. <laughs> oh, wait. I have this. Oh, my God. 17. 17 hard to say you're thinking perhaps at the most two dozen uh of similar stature to the guys before but there's a lot of them but there's mm -hmm. something that tells you there's someone here who's a lot stronger than the ordinary grunt in the group am i able to sense this it's an individual you feeling a presence behind the chair where the duke is sitting in the shadows is the presence the Duke? Not at all, right? Not it's, the Duke. The dude you feel like okay. you see sh a shadow behind him. And you can mm -hmm. tell that person is strong. That's all I need to know. All right. Greetings, Shion says. Duke of Bones. I'll introduce you to our team leader, Kun Jong Se. And she motions to you, Jong. Nice to meet you. He leans forward. 
Well, well, well. First great family member of the day. What can I help you with? Well, I'm so kind that you asked. We're, uh, we're looking for tickets to get on board the train, and we were told that you could help us with that. I sure can. I'm a bit of a collector, you see. I've collected just about every ticket that can be had in this city. And I'm selling them for 500k a pop. I see you have five teammates. Should be pretty doable for a member of the ten great families, right? Ordinarily, you wouldn't be wrong, but... You see, my team and I, were On a budget, if you will. So, let's negotiate. I'm sure you want something. No negotiation. Than... Come on now. There's nothing, nothing else that you want. Listen, kid. I've got a lot of clients and not much time. Train's leaving any day now. If the rumors are true, take it or leave it. 500k. <laughs> and everyone starts snickering around you, the band of bones. Brock is just behind Blue Leader. He nudges towards his direction and mouths the word, words. We should rob him. I don't no know deal. what you're thinking. Whoa, look at us. Big scary band of bones. No big deal, right? We'll just rob him blind. You wouldn't be the first. He snaps his fingers. Aki, come forward. And, uh, give me just a sec. You do well to stay away. He snaps his fingers, the snap sounding throughout the room. And someone starts walking forward. Go ahead and look at my screen. Are you Chef Kiss, these two peak, peak character you, you design. cooking over these two months. I see you. Abs absolute <laughs> peak character design. You've lost your mind. You're snapping. It's time to meet the new character, Aki. Yeah, Joe, you got to relax, dog. You are... <laughs> This is ridiculous. Aki, show them what we do with thieves. Do a little demonstration for us. She like cracks her knuckles. Whips out the silver spear. And in a flash. Like, you don't even notice it, but like Hugo is down on the ground with like the spear to <laughs> his throat. <laughs> And he didn't even have a chance to react. <laughs> His eyes are open looking at you. You don't have to roll for that. <laughs> I could probably stop it with a barrier. Or, I don't know, is this a... A moment? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, just... I don't have to have an entrance then, thanks! I mean, I don't... <laughs> uh... Uh, sorry. sorry. No, no, no. I, 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 I think normally we'll we'll let this one slide. I think. I, I think the moment is. I think cool okay. enough that we'll let it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> is it cool anymore? I, I don't know. I have a great <laughs> it's cool. It's Damien cool. Frog it's badass. Felt. No, it's it's, it's, just it's savage. It's savage. It's savage. Yeah, I'm, it's sick. I'm <laughs> oh my god. But the second that it happens, now does anyone want to do anything? Aki has her spear pointed at Hugo's neck. Can Brock roll perception on who that is? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go for it, Brock. I mean, it's Brock. I, 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 know. Know. <laughs> I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, my God. Brock's like, Aki, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got along well. <laughs> That's a cool spear. <laughs> uh, God dang, I'm rolling good today. That's a 22. Brack, it takes a second. You're like, oh, Aki. And then you realize who it is. What are you doing with these goons? <laughs> and uh, Shion is gonna try to like ram into you, Aki. 
I need you to make a deck save. Uh, 26. 26? She tries to ram into you, but you're able to dodge however you wish. What do you want to do? She's So she's got the spear pointed down at Hugo's neck, and as she senses Shion coming behind her, she's going to, like, go down to a knee, pull the spear away, and then, like, knock her knees out from under her <laughs> as she comes forward. What the? Anyone else want to And now she's got, she's got the spear pointed at Shion's neck. <laughs> Anyone else want to react? Jong just puts his hand on Aki's shoulder. Uh, uh, punch to the face instantly. Okay, Jong, I need you to make a dex save. And Eden mm. making a... Eden, just roll like acrobat athletics. <laughs> roll athletics for this one. Wait, athletics. Did I say Eden? I meant Aki. I mean... <laughs> It's what? already what? Oh my God. at this Who's point. So <laughs> I'm like, pretty sure you know why I tried. Like, <laughs> sheesh. 18. 23. 23. It's not a, a large blow, but she's able to, like, hit you in the face, and you're able to, like, deflect most of the damage as you pull back. But she still shows her what she's doing to you. Yeah. That's quite an arm you got, Aki. And now Hugo is going to try to tackle you into, like, a big bear grip from behind, Eden. Go, okay. go ahead and make another deck save. And this whole time, the Duke and his goons are just watching this happen. 23 again? Yeah, you're able to slip by. <laughs> he tries to grab so she you. She slides, slides back through his legs and puts the tip of the spear to the back of his neck now. Instead of being angry, he just rolls his eyes. <sighs> He looks over at you. The whole team kind of just looking at you like, what are you doing? Uh, she on and you, Brack, though, at least. Uh, Brack walks over to uh, the Duke of Bones, sits down beside no, him. No, no, okay. If you try to walk close. <laughs> well, the minute you take a step forward, you're getting two feet launched into the, into the small well, back. Well, so, so let's, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let's calm down, everybody. Let's chill. Let's take this one step at a time. So you start I'm to happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you welcome a good welcome it's like home, one huh? Big review, it's like a big reunion. <laughs> so so you try to step forward, Brack, and that's when Aki would have kind of. I assume you wouldn't attack Brack right away. Maybe just kind of like taking a stance in front of the Duke. Is that fair? Just know if you attack me, you catch I, my new attack. Like, like, I'm just letting you know. Like, if Brack just takes a couple steps, is that fair, Aki? Or do you just attack him right away? Any movement towards the Duke, she's attacking anybody. Okay, go ahead and uh, attack Brack. Uh, what, what, what move are you doing? Um, Just, like, a normal spear attack. Okay, well, okay. She's, she'd be trying to knock him down, so... With, like, the blunt um, end or something. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. she'd, like, try to, like, kneecap him again. So, like, uh -huh. scoop the legs out from under. Got it. Um, So that would be 24. So, Brack, make a con save. Why is everything this color? Oh, my God, it's hard to see. Luke says in chat, Damien, watch his teammates fighting. Oh, I missed you guys. Damien is so wholesome. Ooh. Nothing's changed. Let's go. 15. 15? So you're able to catch yourself with one knee, but she does land the blow when you would have, wouldn't have expected that much speed and precision. And now she's in front of Brack with the spear at his neck between him and the Duke of Bones. A leader, 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 leader. What are you doing? And everyone just starts laughing around you all. <laughs> Aki! Everyone starts calling Aki's name. And the Duke is laughing. She... <laughs> Go ahead, Aki. No, she just kind of like nods her head to them, but like has a very neutral expression. You know what? This is your moment. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the Duke starts slow clapping. I think they got the point, Aki. And she just nods and walks back behind the throne. <laughs> That's what happens to thieves. Understood? 
Zhang walks over to where Hugo is and like helps him up or like offers him a hand. Takes it. Ah, you're certainly right. That was quite the impressive display, Aki. And he like Zhang tilts his head behind the chair when he says that. Certainly made your point. No stealing from the Duke. Got it. She doesn't react at all. Uh, well, team, I think uh, the Duke has made his stance pretty clear, wouldn't you say? No one says. I think we ought to she, go. Shion and Hugo are silent. Shion glaring at Aki, especially. She nods. Let's go. Thank you for your time, Duke. Yukun. I'm curious. He leans forward. You really don't have the money? What's wrong? Not getting along with Daddy? John just like, he was like walking away, but then he stops. And he kind of smiles to himself. And then he turns around and looks at the Duke. Wouldn't you like to know? No. I just don't really think you're worth anything. The gang starts mu muttering to themselves and whispering to each other. Like I said, Duke. Really, really great to meet you. Bye-bye. He nods to you. As the five of you start to leave, Damien, Brack, any other things you want to do or say? Brack lands down to Damien. I know you're just getting back. You're not fully, fully syndicate ready yet. But tomorrow evening, we're starting Operation Grave Robber. <laughs> Grave Robber? And you know, because he's bones, and we're going to put him six feet deep. Oh, yeah, you know, that's actually a pretty good name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I name my team Grave Robber. Wait, no, I don't. <laughs> he has the jewels, Damien. He, he, he has the tickets, and he has the points. We need both. Uh-huh. I mean, do you, do you guys not have a lot of points? It's a really nice jacket you have there. What's it made out of? <laughs> Don't worry about how much points I have. Just know that I'm rolling flush. <laughs> but, yeah. but no doubt, Frank. No doubt. You can never have enough money. If anything, being rich has taught me, get more money. Never a thing. Never a bad thing to have, I suppose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. what's the plan on getting a ticket? The ticket is take everything that they're worth. Take everything they have. Are you with me, Frog? Like old times. Oh, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Like old times. All right. Big boss. Hmm? Brief him. Oh, sorry. You're talking to phrase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to say the discussion <laughs> continues that they're talking about the Duke. My bad. That's my bad, you know? And you start uh, descending the elevator. Uh, the group leaves, and uh, Aki, you hear the elevator kind of descending. Ugh, the Duke kind of stretches. I'm hungry. I'm going to go grab a bite. Aki, he motions as he gets up and motions to you to follow him. She does. He starts walking down a, a secret passage that you know very well as you spent some time in the loft. You start climbing down some, uh, some emergency stairs in the back. His hands are in his pockets as he's walking down. Let's see, where do we eat today? How about that pub? What was it called again? Uh, something train? What was it called? Chewing train, we're going there. There's a guy waiting outside to uh, drive us there. Should be no problem. He looks over at you. Where'd you know those guys? Oh, come on. Climbs it was obvious. Climb some floors with them. Mm, climb some floors with them. You're not thinking about anything, are you? What's there to think about? Uh, old comrades sometimes complicate things. 
Good. They abandoned me. I have no ties to them. Damn. Nope. He puts an arm around you. Not my Aki. <laughs> you and me, we're partners for life. <laughs> Until the train leaves. And he kind of nods to you. Until the train leaves. Just a little joke. He gets into the car. <laughs> just kind of oh. flicks him on the nose because he's taller than she is. <laughs> kind of laughs. And uh, he gets into the car, the back seat. And, uh, you know, the butler opens the other door for you to get into the back seat on the other side. And uh, the car starts prepping, and he tells them the chewing train, and it takes off. Uh, not a super long uh, journey, you know, all things considered, because of the uh, because you're in this fancy car that he's going to, you know the Duke, he's going to tip well based on uh, everything that's that you know. Uh, give me one sec. So I would say it takes only like 15 minutes to get there. I'm going to say it's about, uh, what would be now, like 1.30 by the time you get there. We'll say it's 1.30. Our reservations are at 145. I'm just kidding. Right, <laughs> right. right. Um, so you arrive. Duke tips the uh, the butler through his pocket. And uh, the two of you start to enter. And, you know, customary for the Duke of Bones, there's a couple of extra, like, of his goons that are, like, already there, kind of looking around by the time you arrive. And, uh, yeah, you walk into the bar, the chewing train. You've been here once before with the Duke. It's, uh... Not a super fancy pub, but it's very charming in its own way because it seems to have been mo like it seems to be an old train that kind of got decommissioned that was instead built into a restaurant inside. And there's a lot of people here, a lot of regulars, you know, uh, people in the shadows kind of all around. But uh, yeah, it's a decent place to be. Let me see if I can play something here. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. The Duke kind of nods to the bartender, and the bartender, oh, of course, and the bartender leads you into a back room with a reserved table. <sighs> Duke nods and sits down. Two chairs, one for you and one for him, opposite ends. <sighs> Looks up at you. Impressive as always. Your... <laughs> I do my best. And she takes out a cigarette and lights it. You know, I gotta say, I expected more from that team. You, you, you say you climb with this team, right? That coon who's uh, the leader. What's going yeah. on with him? What's his deal? Prize a stick up his ass. Well, I can tell that much, but from where? And he asked for a cigarette. Passes him one and lights it for him. And she does it with snapping her fingers. She doesn't have a lighter. She snaps her fingers and Badass. does it. Okay. <clears throat> He's got a lot of issues. I tried helping him. He didn't seem to want to work through him. He wanted to do it on his own. Like most of that team. That's all they wanted to do is do it on their own. Ten family leaders. Ten family members. He's that's... an abandoned one. He's not part of the family. Oh, that's why he doesn't have any money from daddy, huh? I don't think Daddy would give it to him anyway. No? You act like you know the Coon family. I had some run-ins with him. Hmm. What kind of run-ins? Why do you want to know, Duke? <laughs> Let's just say I'm curious about my little mercenary. <laughs> We'll just say that one time, back in my younger years, I might have been pledged to want to marry one of their kids. Marriage? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I've always wondered, what's your real name? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> and what's yours, dear Duke? You won't tell me, and I won't tell you, and let's keep it like that. You know me. I was born Duke. No, you weren't. <laughs> what if I told you I had some royal family lineage? Which one? Uh, some no-name nobles from a random floor up the tower. 
What if I told you that, that I had a hidden treasure located somewhere on that train? On the hell train. So I hear. Doubt it. Hm. We'll see. Say, how much for you to stay on my team when we enter the train? Mm. 100k a floor? 200? <laughs> you gotta go higher than that, bud. Half a mil. Mm. I don't know. You got a lot of people gunning for you. I gotta do a lot of the grunt work. What's your On price? On the train, I don't know. Mm. I think a million would be comfortable for the whole train. Million for the entire train ride? Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> million a floor, maybe. Go ahead and roll Perception, Eden. My dice took a nice little break, and they're like, we back. We back. Ah, <laughs> uh, 23 again. <laughs> Jeez, 23? Okay. Sure thing, sure thing. You know, I'll give it some thought for sure. I don't get it. I'm the Duke of Bones, yet all the people in the band, <laughs> all these... Below average grunts. I mean, they're loyal, don't get me wrong, but I need more people like you. How about that guy with that metal arm we just met? You trustworthy? No. What the big guy with the harpoon? He's at least quiet. He doesn't talk much. Seemed to be loyal back when I knew him. What the big guy who didn't say a word. That's what I was talking about. You're talking about the big guy with the harpoon? I'm talking well, Big guy, big coat, harpoon. There's two of them. Hugo doesn't oh, have a harpoon. I'm, I misheard you. I just heard a big guy. Ah. I, okay. So, speaking, that was about Hugo, and this is about Brett. Okay. <clears throat> the guy with the harpoon, he's too loud for you. Got it. It's a shame. And then, Eden, you notice that there's somebody listening in nearby. Can't quite pinpoint where, but you know someone's listening into this convo that shouldn't be. Aki. She, like, lightly... Did the, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, it, it's it's over now. Um, <laughs> she, like, lightly, like, taps, like, a code on his leg under the table. Like, hey, there's somebody in... There's somebody watching. But she just keeps playing it. Like, the conversation's still rolling. But she's she's starting to like sure. quickly like use her peripheral vision to see if she can like spot sure where sure. she's feeling that yeah so you're looking around a little bit not trying to make a big deal out of it but you're you're looking around and you whoever it was was momentarily in the room but they're not anymore mm. it's 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 somebody who managed to catch a decent portion of that conversation but they seem to you can't quite pinpoint their location as of right now. If you were to get up and start investigating, you might be able to track them down. Depends. She's gonna get up and walk over to the Duke and kind of like lay her arms around his neck and put her head on his shoulder and just like lightly whispers in his ear, somebody's sneaking around in here. He raises his eyebrows. Don't worry, I got you. But now that she's changed her position, now she's going to, like, examine the other side of the room, like, mm -hmm. Give, clandestinely. Sure. Give me investigation this time. Okay. Mod is good, but not terrible. That's my modifier for investigation. 19? 19. Okay, so, yeah, you, you, you that, that instinct you had that they were in the room, but they're not in the room anymore... You pick up on it, and you think, you, you, you're you pretty sure it's somebody who you'd be able to track. But the second you kind of walk across the room, no trace of them. Whatsoever. Nothing. Which way they go? 
I don't know, they're pretty elusive. Elusive for my Aki? Yeah, I think. I have a few guesses. Okay. I'm gonna say we're gonna cut back to Team Recall. I'm gonna say that by the time you got done with the Duke and by the time you were trying to navigate back to uh, wh where the pub would be, we're pretty much gonna say that you have to start heading there like kinda right now. But if you wanna have a quick dialogue, you can before heading to the pub, if that's still your goal. Well, I see a lot of things have changed, but how are you guys are doing? How have you guys been? I'm dying to know. You didn't get much info. I can't believe Besides her. from my old buddy Brack, of course. I can't fucking believe her. <sighs> so when did that happen? Your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Well, I have a couple ideas of what we can do to get a ticket. Hugo looks but... over at you. I'm listening. Well, I mean, how do you think they're getting tickets? You know, Damien... They're taking, they're taking it from other regulars, right? And they obviously have a pretty good idea of who has these tickets, judging from the strong teams. They know now that we don't have tickets, since we just came out asking for it. We could probably follow some some dudes and just take them out. And the other dudes with the tickets. I mean, you know, it disrupts their operation, and we'll get tickets, right? Actually, Not a bad idea, yeah. Damien? Ah, thank you, thank you. I, uh, have been working hard at the workshop. I've been undergoing physical and mental uh, exercises. Zhang, like, puts his hand up, like, signaling Damien to stop speaking. Huh? Oh. Well, what do the rest of you think? I think that Damien should be team leader now. <laughs> she smirks. <laughs> kidding, kidding. No, I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes. No, no, you heard the lady. <laughs> and Hugo just nods. But Hugo looks at Brack. <clears throat> huh? Mm -hmm. what, what was the plan? Uh, Brack? Mm -hmm. How you doing over there? I was... I was, uh... Looked like you were thinking about something. Like yeah. an encounter we just had. Yeah. Might what, you what, have been thinking about doing? robbing? Hmm? What's she doing that? Where? I'm not sure. I figured you guys yeah. might have some idea. Her Shion just looks completely unsure you don't think she's faking it right i mean i get that we didn't exactly leave on the best of terms and but is she really like no. this now on the contrary Shion. i think that we all just met aki or should i say the real eden that in that room over there that's who she really is. My oh my. True colors being shown. A true reunion of Team Recall. Well, we should probably get to that pub. Don't want to keep Elle waiting. Right you oh, are. Who's, who's Elle again? I, <sighs> I forgot. I'll explain on the way. Excellent. You all get some more directions, a bit more help, and, and you notice there's a lot of people who are talking about how the Duke's prices are absurd, and like it seems like everybody's discussing like this train situation. And uh, you do hear whispers of, I hear the train's leaving soon. What if it leaves tonight? Oh, shut up, come on. Tonight? They would have made an announcement or something before then. I don't know, man. You know the people here, they're crazy. These conductors. These... Ugh. But you arrive at the Chewing Train, and the logo on the Chewing Train is... Uh, you arrive, I'm going to say, like 15 minutes early, 2.45. The logo on the Chewing Train, it appears to be... So it's spelled like Chew, like uh, 
E-U, like C-H-E-U, but you notice it's like a train and it's like someone's like pulling the choo-choo on the front of it, you know? So uh, that's the logo. Uh -huh. that's Team the Loud Crowd uh -huh. make this? Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> And you entered, and again, it's like a, it's like You a, did <laughs> not just say that shit, bro. Oh my god. I did. Oh my god, that got men got written all over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Men, butterscotch, Men's the proprietor of the chewing train. Yeah, it's a lot of profit. It's a lot of profit. <laughs> um, and you're, you enter, it's a decommissioned train, you know, as before. And uh, you have to wait, I'm going to say like five minutes, you know, for an empty table. You see some drunk regulars leaving and then someone motions you inside and uh, gives you a table. Um, it's a big table. I'm going to say there's like up to 10 chairs available. Um, so it easily accommodates all of you plus anyone else who'd be visiting. And you all, uh, you sit down on one end of it. Hugo's looking around as if L could already be there. Do we spot any, like, kind of standout person, or...? You know, there's some people in the shadows. You notice that there are a couple of, now that you recognize them now, members of the, uh, the Band of Bones who are standing in front of this room in the back. They're kind of looking around, you know? Um, but aside from that, people in the shadows and uh, other people at the tables um, who are just having a jolly old good time, you know? You could roll Perception if you want to, though. I do want to roll Perception. Well, okay. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, I do say I like that number. 16. 16, okie dokie. You're scanning the room, seeing if there's anything out of the ordinary. You know, making sure you're not in any danger or jeopardy. And uh, at the moment, nothing really. Nothing really catches your eye. Well, well, well. What do we have here? And Zhang feels a hand on his shoulder from the opposite direction of where he was looking. Out of nowhere. Aren't you looking great? It's been a long time. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't even move. What? No hug for your brother? And when Wu says that, he slaps Wu's hand off his shoulder. Ow, ow, ow. But Wu blows his hand jokingly. And Xion, okay. Xion's looking like her mouth is So like sorry to intrude. What are you doing here? Well, weren't we supposed to meet here? I don't know. Xion stands up. How'd you do that? Woo. -hoo. It's nice to see you too, Xion. Hugo looks at you, and you could you, it's hard to tell, but you think there might be a slight smile that creeps across his face. Big H. So you've been opening up. He just kind of looks at you and shrugs. Wasn't expecting Damien to be here yet. That's uh, interesting. I wasn't expecting to be here either. I'm just kind of tagging along. It's good to see you, though, Wu. You too, brother. Been a while. I'm going to go ahead and show Wu on my screen. You see Kesaki Wu in the flesh. Bro, all these ads, appearance. bro. What is, what is <laughs> happening out here, bro? AKA, by the way, just, just flat rate. Saying this to everybody watching now, it is no longer Kesiki Wu, is Lopo Bio Wu. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Oh. Correction, correction, Lopo Bio Wu. It's ab season, baby! Everybody <laughs> took notes from the wool! <laughs> no, it was summertime, damn, bro. We've all been doing our crunches, haven't we? <laughs> uh. So, you didn't read my letter, did you? He's talking to John. Letter. You it's know, the letter I gave to Stexa, and I know she gave it to you because I asked her about it, and she said she gave it to you. Guess I forgot. And he hasn't turned to look at Wu. You don't want to see this fire. And Wu, Wu was just like, look, Wu was just looking at Xion, like, help me. 
Jong, I think that it might be best if we were to at least talk to Wu. Former teammates and all. You know what, Xion? Right you are. Former teammate Wu. What is it you have to say? Former teammate. Teammate Jong. If that's how we're going to play it, fine. I take you guys met Aki. We had a run in. And that means you met that buffoon of a duke. We sure did. Big and stupid. Do you guys have tickets yet? No. Hold on. Well, yes. we got a lot to do. From my intel, the train is leaving pretty soon. Hold on. You encountered Eden. Oh, no. I've just been keeping tabs on her since I got here. My information that we're has gotten pretty big, Shion. Damn. Might be pretty useful. She looks at Jong. Well, how long has Eden been here? And how long have you been here? I just arrived today. I got here a week ago. I expected you guys sooner. All things considered. Well, I think I made pretty good time being at the workshop this whole time. Also, what's up with that arm? Huh? None of my well, intel said anything about that. A uh, workshop experiment. This arm is, uh, are the scissors that you remember that I used to have. Now seems I'm like assuming that's top design. secret, and I shouldn't ask anymore. Huh? No, not at all. Wait, you're... Well, you should treat it like that from now on. You're holding yourself huh? back? This is new. Wait, what? Woo. Holding myself back? I wouldn't call it that. I'm only interested in relevant information. Speaking of relevant information, does your network include any way of getting tickets? That it does. That it does. But what are you willing to do for tickets, is the question. And now Zhang turns and looks at Wu in the eye. Whatever it takes. And there, and Wu like stares him dead in the eye. And there's the Jong that I know. Well, before we do all that, there's something, somebody I want you guys to meet. Hey, little buddy. And Wu opens his cloak up. Yep. And you see a tiny little pig. A little bit bigger than the size of Wu's monkeys. Kind of waddle out and make a little faint noise. This is Pigsy. He won't stop following me. <laughs> Hello, Say Pigsy. Hi. Uh, hi, Pigsy. Why do you have a pig again? Uh, <laughs> it's a long story. So Hopefully him and Hrace get along. I was hoping Hrace could show him the ropes and everything. Hrace is like, but... Hrace is like still sitting on Damien's shoulder, kind of looking down at Pigsy as if judging this new creature. I start, mm. I start throwing the silverware away on the floor. No, 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 not again. <laughs> no! Hey, hold on, Frank. He's not food. Right. And Pixie starts shivering, and there's like a little cold sweat bead that like appears on Pixie's head. Okay. He is not food. He's a good pig. This is a very rare species of Shibuwe, called a there's not many of them in the tower. And I don't really know what this little one wants with me, but he literally won't leave me alone. So I decided to take him under my wing. And given that, before I tell you guys how we get tickets, I'm going to need you to come with me shopping so we can get a bowl for this little one. How's the pig going to help us get a ticket? And how do oh, we know you're not wasting our time? I think he is you... wasting our time. Oh, I'm absolutely wasting your time. Do you yes, forget how I operate? That's what I thought. No, I didn't. But you know that I know what I know, correct? Yeah, I do. Is Brack so, reacting to any of this? Brack is eating his food. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> Fair enough. Did, that's all I need to know. Order? <laughs> Brack and Plate Chan had a date that they weren't going to miss. <laughs> by, the, by the time the person comes to take orders, Brack already has his food. 
take it too long. Um, but yeah. you all can order and order and eat your food and drink. I guess I'll take three onions to go. <laughs> Grill, Rock please. lifts his head up for that moment <laughs> and just stares <laughs> at Davia. I'm getting them grilled. <laughs> that isn't food. What do you mean? Well, you eat onions all the time. Yes. Mixed with other things. That isn't food. Why Why would I complicate things with more extra things when I can just have the onion? Did he say complicate? You know what? You wouldn't be you if you didn't just eat the onion raw. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, grilled? <laughs> He's, I need he's the charm on so to enjoy it. I mean, you're just getting it charred on one side, so you're pretty much eating it raw. Enjoy. Brack just looks down at his steak and just continues eating. Got it, got it. I missed you guys. Well, oh, we missed you too. Or at least I did. I don't exactly know what the, the whole group dynamic is anymore, but it's good to be back. Hugo uh, reaches across the table and places something into your hand, Wu. What's this? You take a look, and you get a bit of a flashback to when you first met Hugo. It's a slightly more sophisticated, you can tell he's been practicing. It's a better figurine of uh, you, depicting you. Oh, you've gotten better, Hugo. I like this one. You mind if I hang on to it? He nods. He, but, he gives a slight smile. You can tell he's happy to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, Wu tosses it like backwards. And you see Iwazaru jump up and catch it. And jump back down. Perfect. While this is happening, Aki, we're going to cut to you. Okay. So, I'm going to say around 2.45, a little later, you're finishing your meal. The Duke ordered, like, tons of food and a dessert, so it's taking him away. He's taking his time. Uh, I really don't want to go back to talking to more broke regulars, but I guess that's what we got to do, huh? That's your business, boss. You did it to yourself. <laughs> you're right. I am quite successful, huh? Okay. You haven't sold a single ticket. What are you talking about? Ah, we have a meeting lined up, though, for probably three or four. So, mm. things are looking positive. I just... Mind if I step out for, like, 30 minutes? Can you handle yourself? Kind of looks at you. Step out. Mm-hmm. Kind of, like, looks a little surprised. Sure. Why not? You've never really stepped out much these past uh, couple months, so go for it. I haven't asked you for anything. Let's be clear. You know what? That's true. I think Mayaki deserves a break. He waves his hand. Appreciate it, boss. Okay. He stays at his table, and you're able to leave the room. The guards don't even look at you. And sh she'll communicate to the guards that like there was somebody sneaking around so like put two guards inside put two guards outside got it they're on it and she just orders them like they're her henchmen <laughs> sure yeah so you walk back out into the big old room and it's like boom the same people you just saw over at a table off in the corner and you see a new person there Lopo Woo, talking to them In her, in her head, she's thinking to herself, she's like, this better not be where Leonida wants to meet. Like, just not out in the open. Um, and she looks over, like, just uses her peripheral vision. She's not directly looking at them and looks at them. And she's just, she just rolls her eyes and keeps walking. She goes, goes to the bar to wait. Still bar. with a cigarette sure. and orders a bourbon. Orders a bourbon? All right. You quickly get it. And uh, some people kind of start whispering. Is that? Huh? You know, when I see you. 
And I'm going to say that Team Recall, the whispers and just you being fairly observant, you would also notice Aki over at the bar. What? Rockway walkers over to her. <laughs> oh my god! I, 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 we, I thought we, I thought we were, we were leaving with Wu. I thought, or am I crazy? Huh? Well, Wu is Wu is yeah, gonna Wu is gonna actively be like, I don't know if this is a good idea. Just well, straight up. I support. But it's up to you guys. So, obviously, when Brack like wave walkers over, mm -hmm. Eden is very used to Brack doing that, right? And she already has her fist out. So, like, when he arrives, he just runs into her fist face first. Do you want to roll for that, Milios, or do you just want to say that happens to Brack? Oh, that happens. Okay. Brack tanks the punch. And he just looks at her in her eyes. And he's looking deeply and intently. And I want to say, drag, Eden she... picks up. The hell are you doing? She takes a big drag from her cigarette and just blows it in his face. Fuck off. Can I roll to put Eden in a chokehold? <laughs> like a wear neck choke to hold her up? Like some sibling stuff? Oh my gosh. Like a big happy family. <laughs> Let him hear, so, by the way. We're doing great, guys. <laughs> we broke Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's gone. <laughs> It's so funny to be wrong. Just out of the room. <laughs> All right, so yeah. dex versus I mean, strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it make a, an athletics check, Milios, and then so Hannah, what you would do is roll athletics or acrobatics, whichever you okay. would like. Oh, what you roll, Hannah? Twenty six. Oh my god. We tied. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna so so when you go for the grab, you go you it's an immediate, you know, thing that you do. Aki, you respond in kind, but both of you are kind of locked now in a position where neither of you is grabbing the other. Your your arms Brack are kind of like stopping head, each but... other. Yeah, sorry. No, no, I was gonna say Brack goes for a head, but not like a hard head, but but uh like what he did in the uh the hot springs. The hot springs to like lean his head forward to her. She'd pull like, back. Now Brat goes for full head, but. <laughs> Okie dokie, go ahead. She... I want, well, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, unless you wanna respond differently. Uh, she'd probably try to kick him away from her. Sure, okay, so we'll do this as like a two-part thing. First, uh, sure. let's roll a, let's make an attack roll from Milios. Just add your proficiency and your strength. We'll do it that way. It's like, it's just, you know, as if it was athletics, Eden, make another deck save. Okay. But I'll also have you do the same thing. <laughs> we we got to get a dice cam for, for, for the players. I don't know what y'all are talking about in chat. I'm just kidding. I rolled, you said proficiency and strength? Uh, Yes, sir. I rolled a 16. 16. Hannah! 24. Okay, and now make an attack roll. And then Brack, make a deck save. I'm, I make an attack roll, okay. Yep, sorry. And add your strength and uh, proficiency. Add my strength? Yes. Uh, what I'm adding? Dex and uh, you're making a deck save. So I don't know if you're proficient in like deck saves, but if you are, you would add your proficiency bonus. Okay. 18. Okay. I'm one off, 17. Okay. The headbutt is unsuccessful, but Eden, your attack is like barely successful as you try to like knock his legs out. You can tell it like buckles. No, she's like tries to kick him away. She's like in the You chest. kick him back like, like a little. On a stool. You kick him back yeah. a little. You're able to kind of break up the moment, but like, eh. Nah. He's a big He's boy. still she near you. Yeah, it's still a little <laughs> complicated. Yeah. At this point, Shion gets up. Brack! She yells your name. And now the pub's kind of looking around, and she unrealizes. Brack just puts up his hand like this. Just. Chion, you One know moment, when please. he gets like this, there's no stopping him. And now one last time, and this is only because he feels disrespected. Yep. 
Fair. Brock is going to Broly Slammer. I'm what? talking 1995 Broly <laughs> Slammer. I'm talking grab by the face and create a crater into the ground Broly Slam. Okay, sure. Um, I'm going to say... Okay, okay. Aki, how would you try to react to Brack attempting to do this to you? What's your I mean, reaction? Trying... Like, are you trying to like strength? I'm not strength? To... Probably, okay, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, I would say like if he starts to like grab at her face, she's gonna try to dodge and like dodge. kneecap him like okay. she did. So, yeah. so Milios, athletics, Aki, acrobatics, and then um, we'll do a roll if it succeeds. Hey, you got this one. <laughs> Well, I'll use 10. another dice. I'll use another dice. I'll give you a chance. That's a 10. 10. Oh, I rolled yeah. 16 on mine, and that's plus 7, so. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, you're unsuccessful in your attempt to do so. Eden, uh, Aki evades your grasp. <sighs> Just hear old man grumbles. Old man <laughs> grumbles. <laughs> Perfect. Is anyone else from Team Recall reacting to like Brack trying to Broly slam Aki and like everyone's kind of like has been climbing with Brack since this we started. This <laughs> okay, okay, hundred percent right. useless, and it's not even. This fair. is right. the this is like the most like mundane thing that's happened yeah. in quite some time for Wu. Dude, he's just in there like okay, I guess we're back. In fact, we're having a home conversation while this is going on. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. I have a big I have a big grin. I walk over to the bar, take a bite of my grilled onion. Yep. Oh my god. I mean. We can. Do you want to sit? Want to come have a meal with us, Aki? Aki, I already ate. I mean, have a drink with us then. I already drank. She put motions to her empty bourbon glass on the bar. I mean, one drink and that's it. We, amidst all this chaos and commotion, you know. I mean, Aki, do you want to respond to Damien first? She just like looks at him with like an eyebrow raise, just like. What? <laughs> sure. I slowly take a bite of my onion like an apple. <laughs> well, while this is happening, people who remained at the table, Hugo and Jong, right? Um, Wu, Xion. Uh, someone just joins you at the table, just kind of sits down. Oh my god, what is happening in this in place, bro? But... We're gonna cut to our break. It's been long enough. Uh, so memes oh, and fan art time. No, no way. Before you we continue, the <laughs> 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 that was the cliffhanger. You guys should be used to this by now. We're back yeah, in full force. We don't need a oh, mid no. episode cliffhanger. It's back to who's at the table. Torture, my guy. That, that, classic. That, then I can spend point. a whole break preparing for who's at the table. Yeah, nice. I in, bro. see. Okay. Now I do want to say that I could not include all of the memes. Any memes that are not here will be included next week. Enjoy, everybody. We'll be back soon. I actually do not Farewell. have the memes prepared. I, I processed it. I got to add it to the scene. So you all are going to see the old meme reel for like half a second. All right. Goodbye, everybody.
other Joe as Damien Frog. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're reviewing Towers of God. <laughs> right off the bat, I think it's kind of a slow burn. I mean, 58 episodes is a lot to di digest, but I do think that it gets uh, pretty pretty darn good. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like that bug fellow. He's uh, interesting. Oh, oh, oh no! no. Don't do that to uh, Charlie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
here, right here. All your needs will be met. I'm hungry. And just because someone looks different than you, or thinks differently than you, doesn't mean you should be afraid of them. It means you should be angry at them. How dare they be different? What? My way of life ain't good enough for them! Uh, I forgot to write a speech, so I'm just going to repurpose what I wrote for his wedding. Congratulations, you son of a bitch. Your life is over. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry.
<laughs> One million years dungeon. And we're back. Thank you all so much for the memes and fan art. Like I said, half of the memes and fan art from like recent, uh, the recent weeks, I couldn't include. There were too many. Uh, that was already a long meme reel. So that's enough. That like that tells us enough that you were uh, submitting so many over the break. So thank you guys so much. It means a ton, and it helped keep the fire of the series going. I can't believe like. I feel like we had more discussion over the break than like during the weekly episodes, which maybe it shouldn't be surprising. It surprised me. It was it was so cool. So um, thank you guys so much for the memes and fan art. Uh, the rest will be featured next week. If you want to submit more, I'll also include that for next week. Join the Discord down below. It's a fun place to be. It's super fun. Okay. Anything anyone wants to say before we uh, get started? Is that it? I do want to say one thing. That collab thing. piece was fine. That, that was gonna, the one thing I was going to say. Oh, thank you guys so much for the collab yes. piece. I feel like that deserves its own shout out. Um, it's something that has been worked on over the entire break. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Hercules Beetle, Zyson, N1 Pa, Zarb K, Kiki Spam, Zaldebaran, and just Rhea. Thank you so much uh, for, mm -hmm. for that amazing art. It's so, it, I love that image so much. It's so cool. Alrighty, we're gonna we're gonna hop back into things here. Okay, so Aki and Brack are just having a bit of a a bit of a scuffle over at the bartender area. No big deal. Um, but meanwhile, uh, and Damien's over there as well. Uh, Damien's you know, having a little conversation with Aki. Brack, like, do you continue this uh, scuffle? What do you do? <clears throat> Brack concedes defeat. He just. Looks at a uh, leader, shakes his head, dusts off his clothes. <sighs> the rich shouldn't be getting down on this level. I need to recognize where I am and where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> he straightens up his coat. <laughs> he pivots to the left and he just walks away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this level Giga is. Chad. I don't know where this Giga that Chad. was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Giga he just chokes slammed this girl and then went, oh my, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, oh bro. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So, uh, so, Brack, do you head back to the table where everyone else is? No, nah, Brack heads out of the, uh, the dining area. Um, oh, are you like, so you're leaving the building? You're leaving the, the gym train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So are, we're on the train. You're no. You're on a the the chewing train. Oh, the chewing. Oh, <laughs> Brack just goes to another car then. So like. Well, so are there dividing cars or it's, is it? It's just... more like one. The way I imagine it is the main area, uh, aside from like the back area where maybe like the Duke of Bones was, is kind of one big car, like one big train car. Um, that's kind of been used. So it's the bar room, okay. the bar and the tables, everything is all kind of one big room. And then there's the back room where the Duke was, is. Okay. At least uh, accessible wise, accessibility wise. Is there like a nice corner to like sit in? Yeah, no, for sure. And there, you do notice right, that there is a new there. individual who has sat down with Team Recall. Um, just want to throw that out there in case it would change okay. anything. Okay. Okay, now Damien, how about you, Aki? Damien, what's what's your plan? What's your deal? Offer still stands. Bites into the onion. <clears throat> Eden looks over at the table, or Aki. Does she see Leonida over there? Well. You do see somebody that I'll describe here in a sec that you don't recognize that just sat okay. down with them. She'll put her cigarette out. Come on, purple. She'll like tug on his hair, walks over there. I have a name and it's, it's my name's Damien. Eric. <laughs> I'm a person and my name is Damien. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell like a little bit of an old, like typical Eden frustrated face, like washes over her. Like she can't, it's like a reflexive, like, 
Uh, sure, sure. And she just she just walks by him. Aw. Damien being Damien. Um, okay, so everyone sits at the table then, or at least do you stand near the table when you approach Aki? How cause I mean No, she pulls out a chair. Okay. Like like she owns the place, sits down and it crosses her legs and it like cross one sure. leg over the other. And she just like mm. she's sitting there kinda like she owns mm. the place. The great Aki has decided to join our humble table. It's an honor. Brack, you're the only one not at the table. Everyone else, as a member of Team Recall, is present. The individual in question, I will describe. Okay, a woman whose face is obscured by what almost appears to be a motorcycle helmet. A big old helmet on her head with dark glass and steel protecting uh, any identity you would gain from her uh, physical appearance. And a simple gray outfit. You notice she has two handguns strapped to her sides, an SMG on her back, and a big metal bat. Big metal baseball bat next to the SMG. And she's just sitting down with all of you. Hello. It's nice to meet you. She turns to you, Jong. Nice to meet you as well. Would I be correct in assuming you're... Leonida. And she holds out a hand. Jong puts his hand out and shakes hers. Eleventh Knight of Isir. She turns back to the rest of the group, looking around. She it does. is very nice to meet you. Likewise. Appreciate your timely message. I appreciate you meeting at this, she looks around, establishment. I'm here to provide information about your job. All of you, I assume, are still keen on boarding the Hell Train. Well, I know Team Recall is. With what tickets? What is that supposed to mean, exactly? I already that have mine. Leonida looks around. I assumed you would be able to get your own tickets. Will that be a problem? No, I have that under control. But... What do you need from us, exactly? I came to give you more information regarding what you will do once you board the train. The train features... A mirror. Yeah, a mirror fragment. You may have heard that there is a hidden floor, blah, 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 but all you care about is this fragment, which is never, it never stays in the same place. It's always wandering. Once you find the fragment, which I believe you, and she looks over at you, Jong, or at least you see her tilt her head towards you. You have the wishbone, yes? He just nods his head. That'll help guide you to the mirror fragment. Once you find this fragment, you will clean the mirror and try to befriend it. If the mirror likes you, you'll access the parallel world. And then you hear this like sound inside the helmet, like a little popping sound. Once again, good in there. I'm sorry. That just heard some popping. Are you... What's going on in your helmet? Sorry, continue with your set rep. There are more important things. Th there are more important things. To reiterate, use the wishbone. Find the mirror fragment, give it a good clean, and then befriend it. Any questions? What do we do after befriending the mirror? You may see some things that you will not like. You may see things from your life that you would rather tuck away. However, these shouldn't be too much of a problem, considering how strong you regulars are, for your rank especially. Also, for most of the train, it'll simply be an exact reflection of the Hell Train itself. It'll just be as if you are in the Hell Train, except the only people you'll be encountering are... Well, let's just say you will not be encountering other ticketers, as long as you're within the Mirror Train. There is a caveat. You're trying to find the sage's information regarding the demonic realm, the void. Once you cross floors, and once you access a new floor, unfortunately, you'll be brought back into the into the hell train, and you'll have to once again access the mirror train on each new floor. You'll also still have to take tests on each floor. Are we clear? Yep. 
figured that's how it would go. Any other questions? Yeah, what does befriending the mirror mean? That's a, <laughs> a little bit of a crazy thought. Never done that before, I mean. Any of you guys? I can help explain. Usually when you encounter someone you don't know, a stranger, and you wish to get to know them better, you say nice things, you try to find common ground, you try to share your Hey, Damien, that's your cup of tea there, buddy. So you're saying the mirror is going to be a person? No. John, mirrors can't be people. Is this some sort of allegory for loving oneself? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Is so. Is that what the spell about? <laughs> we broke Joe again. I don't, I don't think so. Do we need to make friends with ourselves? Befriend the Damien. mirror fragment. I think it's pretty clear. Right. I've okay. never spoken with this Understood. mirror fragment before. I don't know its likes. I don't know what, it's dis what it dislikes. I don't know what its life has been like. So then how do you know it can be befriended? It, it sounds like something we'll know when we see it. Uh, Somebody yeah. will have to answer. There's no need to overanalyze it. I'm sure it'll make sense when we see it. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I hope so. Regardless, I would be cautious of one thing. Perhaps it's not a big deal, but we've heard some rumors. Pawns of Aesir have noticed uh, something different upon the train that you might want to be aware of. She looks around as if everyone's ready to hear this super important thing. Well, says she, um, What, does she need affirmation? Like, speak. God, hey. I bite into my onion suspensefully. What is it, Knight Leonida? Leonida looks over at the bar. Can I get a drink? What do you bar want? Barkeep! Leonida, what do you want? Just call me L. L, what do you want? Bourbon. Got it. Bourbon. Akia Straight. Pops up. Cool. Ooh, 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 with onion powder. No, um, don't around, listen to him. him. Bourbon. Straight. The bartender like kind of looks like, huh? huh? What? No, Eden or Aki goes over and gets her a straight bourbon and brings it back. Okay. But the bartender goes, "Sir, would you like a bourbon with onion powder?" No, he wouldn't. <laughs> I would. Coming I right would up. Love. Oh my god! Don't make that for and him. In, and instead of bourbon, can I just get orange juice? <laughs> Ew, dude. Thank you, good sir. And zoop, you get orange juice with onion powder. There you go. You're good I'll make sure to give you five stars, brother. This is <laughs> unacceptable. Uh, a nice does hard a quick, onion powder. Aki does a quick scan of the room. Okay. Of like, did she try to signal something? Like, is somebody listening? Is that why she doesn't want to say anything? Um, she like puts her uh -huh. guard up. Sure, roll perception. Uh, dirty twenty. Um. It's more like this information might be kind of important, and she wants to make sure you're prepared. <clears throat> Leonidas Take helmet. Cigarette and lights it. <laughs> sure, sure. <sighs> Leonidas helmet kind of rises up so you can just see her mouth, and you notice there's a big scar across it. She takes back the bourbon, puts it back down. The helmet recovers her face. According to our intel, she looks around at all of you. The Hell Train has hired a new janitor. Be warned. And Leonetta kind of gets up as if she's done. Good luck, regulars. I hope you can find what you seek. She you want to elaborate on that? Turns or back I'll have to, to ask you. Percy. Turns back to you. That reminds me, I almost forgot. Percy says hi. Of course he does. I see her just as useless as always. How's Flux doing? What did you say? Have you talked to Flux? No, 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 no. What did you say, John? 
Jong takes a sip of his drink. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not clear? I'll speak a little louder. This is Iseer, being as useless as they always are. As you say that, you notice her hand kind of shaking, you know, like going towards the bat. But she just clenches her fist and just turns and walks out of the pub. And I can loot clock that. Does he have to roll for that? Can roll insight. You can roll insight. But I wanted to know how Flux Folk was doing. I have no idea. shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Blame Jogs for she's like a one. Sixteen for for the insight check. Uh, something personal there. Jong Jong. Ooh, he, I don't. He, most of Ice here would have just kind of been like, uh, uh we hear that all the time, but uh, not Leonidas. Well. Uh... They, I don't care what their feelings are. So okay, then what are you rolling insight for? <laughs> you... I did, no, I just want to know if she genuinely felt some type of way about that or not. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah for sure. Go. Okay. Okay. Well, on to more impressing matters. Wu, what's this way you have of getting us tickets? How much money you guys got? Uh, she looks over at where Brack is sitting in the corner. She kind of like tell me you gave him all the money. She kind of motions for you to come come over to them, Brack. <laughs> Brack gets up, <clears throat> straightens out his coat, look around him, and then just walks forward over to the table. <laughs> I'm assuming you didn't catch any of that. Mm -hmm. Brack, how much money you got? Not enough to share. <laughs> what about What's the syndicate the bank account? What team? about the syndicate bank account? You should have expected that answer. There is, uh... Where, where's Big Boss? Grace taps in your shoulder. Big Boss. Big Boss. Uh... Grace? <laughs> you put him back in charge of the finances? He's not in charge of the finances. It's just... Hear me out. Big Boss, um... What, what was the, how was, uh, Variety Water doing? Hmm. Decently. Okay. We, we, we have something, but not enough for all of you. What about the money that you've been receiving from, uh, never mind. Um, you know what? I, I think there's something we haven't addressed. Why are you talking like Batman, Damien? It's... Huh? <laughs> you got him tricked! You tricked him! <laughs> that was Joe! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Joe. Wait, you really yes, thought it was no. Joe? Wait, I thought, you you were me, sure. I thought you were playing along. Oh, my God. No, I thought it was Damien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. should have played along with this. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Damn. mind me, a sip of my orange juice onion water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Poor Hugo. Um, so Hugo says, I feel like we're forgetting about something. He looks at you, Eden. Or what he knows is Eden. Uh-huh. You said you had a ticket. Yeah. He looks back I towards the Y'all would have had room. yours by now. We literally just arrived today. You're fine. You should have arrived a week ago. But we all need tickets. I've been here for about a year, six months, so. Well, good for you. Seems like you made it. And Wu makes a snarky remark at her. It seems like you made yourself right at home. Hold on. To her, to, to me? Yeah. One question. Hmm. This is simply out of curiosity, Aki. Hmm. Did you climb with any other teammates? Yeah, didn't you? We did. Just curious how you climbed so fast. We got here a whole just... year before us. Yeah. Well, I, get you, I guess you did just take the money, take the item, and run that night, so. Hmm. Oh, I guess you, you put still last heard about that. Hmm? 
You still ass heard about that, Shion. When everyone else is allowed to leave, but I'm not. Is that, is that what's rubbing you the wrong oh, way? Oh, no, no, no. If like I when was... I went to find Victor and you followed me. Oh, no. If is I that was what you're to... still mad at? Oh, no, no. Are you done? Because I'll, I'll listen if you, you want You started to it, bitch. All right. She gets up from the table. As much as listening to this petty conversation is entertaining, can we no, get no, back? No, 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 Jung. We're not done. We're hand. not done. We're not done. Cheon, please don't engage if with her I anymore. I had even a shred of decency, I would have left a note, maybe said something before leaving. But no, no, no. I didn't go off and leave and become some... She looks over where the Duke of Bones is. What are you? Do you... What, what are you to him? Just curious. Do you, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Right. Right. Oh, you think I'm sleeping with him? I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> Shion, you can't even get to first base with Bluey over there. Don't tell me oh. about my life. Hey, so uh, I think I'm just going to go check on my team. At least I'm uh, not the one that's been married, what, how many times now? How many husbands have you had? Oh, is he going to be number, what, four or five now? I'm just going to slip I've out. I've had one husband, oh, Shion. Like I said, you can't even get to first base. Uh, uh, well, maybe none of this has I have to do. a shred none of None of this has to do maybe I'm... with getting tickets to the train. Can we stop this? Jong takes, puts his hand on Shion and, like, motions for her to sit down. She's, like, not wanting to sit down. Sharon, you've had a problem with me since the 20th floor. Just get it off your chest. How about this? You mm. clearly have no intention of ever joining with us again, which is a good thing based on what I've seen today. So how about instead we put aside our differences and come to some kind of agreement? The train could be... I'm going to try to have the upper ground here. Okay? Let's ignore... You're trying to have the high ground? I am, indeed. I'm trying to have the high ground. <laughs> Always make sure you have that. <laughs> I had to sneak it in there. <clears throat> now, unless you're too busy, uh, you know, snogging with the Duke, we could come to some kind of agreement about what to do next. Maybe you could um, convince him to... You haven't, hmm? you haven't learned shit how to negotiate, have you? Seven years, I'll leave you to your own devices. This is how you're going to try and negotiate. Sheesh. You think you're hot shit just because you dodged a couple of tacks and got attacks and got a little bit lucky. So what? You just dyed your hair red. Whoa, big deal. Scary. Aki. This is exactly why I left you fucking clowns. Nothing gets done when all you do is bicker about nonsense. Actually, well, a lot of stuff up... got done when you guys were going. Oh, so hmm. glad to hear. What did get done exactly? Hold on, hold on. I get to say something. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Why Considering I just was assaulted by your uh, wannabe girlfriend. Um, oh, poor girl. I'm sorry. Assaulted? So, verbally. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry a river. Yeah, so so you're all up my ass about leaving without saying anything. You know, why haven't you uh, given the same treatment to Wu over there? What are you talking did, about? This man hasn't did, spoken did a word to me since I got here. As a matter of fact, when I left, I spoke to you. Okay, yeah. and I told you what I was doing, and I expected that that would have been imparted. Obviously, it wasn't, and that's not your job to do. As a matter of fact, it's none of our jobs to do anything except for tend to ourselves. And, so, instead of pointing stands fingers, up and points oh, literally uh, points a finger uh, in his chest. But in my chest, it, my business. In my chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to point no finger in my chest. <laughs> You made there it whose business? Whose business did you make it? No, I said you made it my business when you came to me. For the second time after fucking Artlem. Okay? Came to you? Yeah, when he and Eden, or when he and Leaf left after Artlem, he came to me, and as the leader, I had to take it and tell everybody else. And the second time he did it, he did it again. And oh, I was supposed to impart the knowledge, but then I also wasn't supposed to impart the knowledge. So you can't have it both ways. I wasn't the leader. I wasn't in charge of whatever you went off and did. 
and I'm not taking your burdens or your shit anymore. You know what? Why are you here? Shut up, John. She's right. Because I'm no. here. I'm here to meet with no, my. You shut up. No, let She's him right. She's right. All of you are valid in everything that you're saying. And at the same time, none of us have any fucking credence to say anything. Everybody needs to take a step back and realize that not any one person is at fault. And at the same time, all of us are in individual ways. Instead of pointing fingers, what did you spend the last seven years doing? Blindly climbing, grasping at straws, or do you try and figure out what you could do? I figured out what I could do. I don't know about the rest of you. Your wagon to this clown, huh? I got a ticket. It's more than any you can say. I have one too. I'm worried about you? the rest of the team. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they got any. They came to the Duke of Bones first. Duke of Bones. What a joke. Absolute and I know you trash. all have 500,000 unless you've been spending wantonly over the last seven years. Just buy the tickets. Anyway, back to the important conversation. Woo. Ah, yes. I forgot, Chong. I'm not important. Y'all have a lovely day. And she'll start walking towards the back room. That's not what he meant, and you know it. I think it is. <sighs> this is a wonderful telling indication of why I did everything I used to do by myself for the last seven years. Good day to the rest of you. And Wu walks off. Hey, Aki. Have fun being his concubine. Xion sits back down. <laughs> Shion, you get that V-card punched and we can talk. Well, time. Oh, and by the way, Jung. Good job. Excellent. Hugo slowly gets up. He's right back there, right? The Duke. Yeah, he is. He looks back. Is there anything stopping us? He looks around. He might, he might not even have the tickets on him, but you're saying that without their leader, that band of buffoons would hold together for any meaningful time at all. Right now, we need tickets, and I mean, let's talk to Simon. He works for the workshop. He would know some things. He might have an idea of what to do. He's helped me climb so far, right? It's not a How bad, bad idea. idea. It's actually the first useful thing someone said all day. Come on. Before we do, did Brack, Brack, did Brack just stay silent throughout all of that, or? Uh... Brack built the burning desire to rob the Duke of Bones. Throughout that whole entire conversation. See, that's just that was all of those on his mind. He's like glancing over him. at the room. <laughs> you gotta call in your your wing lady Ace to help you rob him. True. We can come up with a plan to, to take the tickets. We can undermine the Duke of Bones' entire operation. And I know this team needs a lot of work, but I still believe in it. What remains of it? just there's been a lot of things that happened and there's a lot of things we need to talk about as a group it's like Wu said I mean not we're not necessarily in the right but and it's everyone's fault but at the same time it, it, it makes sense I mean I'm not I'm guilty of this too I was gone for seven years right I didn't want to be but well 
You can't compare your situation to anyone else's. Yours was entirely unique. I mean, yeah, of course. But that doesn't change the fact that I was gone still. I mean, I'm not trying to point any blame at anyone, but... Look, let's just focus on getting on the train. Yeah, for about now... people's feelings later. Exactly. We're all getting on that train anyway, so we need a way to get on it. Agreed. Agreed. So, let's go see Simon. I'm sure that he has... He's the smart guy. Lead the way. He's your friend. Okay, everyone starts to get up. Does everyone tag along? Wu included? Uh, no. What are you talking you about? You left, right? I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. For some reason, couldn't. I, ass- I, I assume that Aki left and then I left. All right. Back to back. Got yeah. Any specific direction that you are heading? Wu? No, the, you focus on the mad rat. Got it. Okay. So, the group gets this. So, Aki, when you leave the pub, what do you do? She goes to the back room to see if the Duke is still there. So, okay. But so, you... assumed that he wouldn't have been there because he had the other meetings. So, so your goal was to. Did you? So, did you leave like out? Leave like in back into his room then? Yes. Oh, that's right. You yes. did say. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, when you head back in there, he's still there. He's still there. Um, I'm gonna say it's like. 305 at this point, 310 maybe. Okay. He finished his last drink. Oh, do I really got to go? Oh. You worried about those poor little regulars. Mm, I just don't really want to have to deal with it, but we do have a couple meetings later tonight, so we'll see. All right. Hey, let's get going, yeah. If you want, I can handle those meetings for you. I appreciate that, but I think it'd be better if the Duke was there in person. Some high-profile people. Oh, they can't be too high-profile, considering we had one great family member show up already. A broke great family member who apparently was abandoned by his own family. No, this is different. This is different. Who do we got coming? You've heard of, uh... Steamies? Say that again. Steamies. Nah. Hmm. Uh, Steamy, well, steam shipping and cargo delivery. It's owned by a guy named Steamy. Apparently, he's got work for us. What kind of work? Uh, typical stuff. I won't be there in person, of course. But I was wondering if maybe you would, wouldn't mind taking charge of a bit of a bodyguard mission. You're pawning me off to somebody else named Steamy? Hey. Seriously? The guy might not be super serious, but he's rich. Trust me. Now you want his money? He's offering a lot. And let me just say, the more money I get before I board this train, the better. Why? You might think the currency is pointless, but that's really not true. Uh, You wouldn't understand. Come on. Trust me, I think I would. Uh, That's okay. And even if I did, I'd be having a conversation with you. There's no guarantee that you'll even be joining my team once we enter, right? I don't know. You're the one that's gifting me a ticket. Only right for all the work you've done. Let's Mm. make it back. Come on. Yes, boss. Okay. Gets into the car. Same car as before. (laughs) Heading back to the loft. Um, okay, the rest of Team Recall, though, you've left the building. Damien, I'm assuming you've kind of, you're trying to set something up with, uh, with the boy. That's right. Okay. You've been informed that they are located at that hotel near the, near where you first got off the train, where all the regulars were headed. Bus bank beds, BBB. Business class, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. And they went ahead, and when you reached out, they asked if uh, your friends needed a room. Oh, yeah. I mean, I figure you guys need a room, right? No, we definitely don't have a room of our own yet. Yeah, take it from me. Take it free room from the workshop. It's on me. Or them, I guess. Wow, thank, thank you, Damien. Of course. I mean, it's the least I can do. It's been so long. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Did Simon agree to talk to us? Huh? Of course. I mean, not that it matters, but I am team leader of Team Bloodstorm. I mean, uh, uh, what? The... You called yourselves Team Bloodstorm? Y y yeah. Like, seriously? Y yeah. Seriously. It's a cool name, right? That's a good name. That's a good thank, name. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Team Bloodstorm. Yeah, thank you. I wasn't sure saying it to you guys. And, like, we were saying it all the time across our, our climb. And, I, and I mean, they were kind of giving me weird vibes about it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm glad like, you guys like I it. I wonder why. I like the name, the first name that you texted me about, though, when you were coming up with the names. You, you, you came up with Team Empire. I, I like that one better. Team Empire. I think Team Empire is a better team for when we're higher up the floors. <laughs> um, while you're on the way, uh, you're all... You have to ride a couple... You know, a good transportation is the train system here. So however the best method is, you're riding a couple trains, you're walking. Jong, you receive a call. Do I know who it's from? Bye. When Jong sees the caller ID, he stops as they're walking. Guys, I'm, uh, I gotta take a phone call real quick, but I'll, I'll be right behind you. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, this is where the room is located, and, uh, this is how you get there as fast as possible. Okay, thanks. I won't be long. Just, you know, you know just look at the texts that I give you sometimes, and you'll get some <laughs> info out of it, right? Jung's already gone. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. In all fairness to him, your text messages make zero sense. Oh. <laughs> was that in, was that in character? Yes. Woo's back. Woo, woo, woo reemerges. Okay. No, Wu was there the whole time. He was just not. Wait. What? Okay. He's hold on. You said you first. You said you left when I asked if you were with the group. At some point, no, you just I rejoined, did. right? I disengaged from that conversation with Eden. Okay. That was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. You're with so you are okay. with the group. Okay. Yes. 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 Got it. Okay. So, John, you're able to break away from the group. I want to say Brock follows behind him, mm. like sneakily. He tries to sneak behind him. How, without okay, Jong well, knowing? Yes. Before Jong answers the call, he's going to check his surroundings. So, so roll that, perception, that, 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 Brack. <laughs> roll, that's cool. Roll stealth, I mean, roll perception, Jong. Roll perception, Jong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Dirty 20. The average for today's rolls has to be 26. 24. Go ahead, Breck. i kind of nuts. I'm the only one rolling low. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's true. What would you roll? It might be another one of those times. Because, <laughs> man. Um, What is it? Stealth, right? Yeah. 17. He, he, he spots me best and, and i mean honestly it's a good it's a good attempt but yeah john i feel like right as you're about to finish you you notice him under the corner of your eye brack can i help you mm, i've been just trying to figure out why old uh blue leader is uh being secretive look i'm being honest you remember when i told you that i used to be a mercenary before i started climbing the tower uh-huh. Well, I have some, uh, connections from those days. And, uh, in the goal of getting some information about Kuhn Silva or his whereabouts, I'm leaning on some of those connections. But it's probably better, at least for now, if I converse with them alone. fine but remember it was just you me she on when we continued climbing from the 31st floor you don't got to keep things from me i'm here to help i know i'm sorry i didn't mean to make you feel left out i just they don't know about the team and me and i at least for now prefer to keep it that way that's good. But the second you see that things are getting a little bad or worse, lean on us. 
I will. I promise. All right. Go ahead and take your little call. And then Brack just turns around and walks away. Okay. And as Brack walks away, Jong watches him, and the smile that he gave Brack kind of fades away before he takes his pocket out and answers the call. Great. Well, the first thing you hear is a lovely burp from the other end of the line. Ah! Oh, is that you? Wait, that's really you, huh? Uh, sorry. I didn't think you'd actually pick up. Bye. Uh, that's my boy Gasu. I take it you have some information about the mission? Well, you're it's still on, right? Yeah, of course. Good, because plans have kind of changed. What? Uh, he, uh, yeah, he wasn't at work today. I don't really know what's going on. No one's seen him in a while. I have a feeling that he's on to us. And he might be hiding because of it. It wouldn't have anything to do with you. No, no, it? of course it's not. Okay, you know that I'm better than that. I'm better than that. <sighs> Listen, though. Hey, hey, you take this guy out and... And you and me, we're top of the food chain. And plus, you wanted that info on Kun Jong Se, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we're still on? Well, almost. What's the problem? I need to make a slight amendment to our deal. Earlier when we spoke, I asked you for your intel on Kun Jong Se, but things have changed. Oh, I'm looking for someone. Okay. The name Kun Silva. Silva? I need absolutely anything you can get me on him. Oh, I've got something Siblings, already. Friends. Dude, he's a cousin he's a cousin of, of Kun Jong Se. Is that enough for... Oh, you already knew that. Well, okay. I'll try to do some more digging then. But it's fair to say nothing until he's dead, right? I mean, we've done this a million times before. You know my work. And you know I'm good for it. You'll have his head. Sounds good to me. If I find out anything else, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye. I get it, because that's my... <gasps> Jong, like, takes a minute to compose himself. He kind of, like, it looks like he's kind of dropping out of that... That that persona, that, that you know... Personality. And he kind of puts on, like, a little bit more of, like, a bright, cheery face. And then he turns around and walks back towards the group. Or towards the room. Got it. Sounds good. You continue on your way. You rejoin the group, and everyone's on their way to the hotel. And it's a pretty nice hotel. Like, I feel like even, like, the normal room here, quote-unquote, would be nicer than most places you've stayed at in your uh, tr time traveling the tower. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so you arrive at the hotel... And uh, you're quickly offered to, you know, get shown to your rooms. The rooms have already been paid for. They're on a high floor. I'm going to say the 11th floor of this hotel. And, uh, yeah, they bought one room, or they rented one room for uh, Damien, you, and your two allies that you came here with. And then there's two other rooms for the rest of Team Recall. But I'm assuming you all want to meet with Damien's teammates, right, first? Correct. Okie dokie. So they welcome you into their room. You see they've dressed in a bit more casual uh, clothing, you know. Uh, Robin kind of putting away the heavy uh, armor that she would have been wearing and all. And um, Simon would be kind of in casual clothing, no longer the scientist lab coat and all. Please, have a seat. And there's a few couches around and chairs. Thank you for agreeing to meet with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can I help you guys with? Damien? Good to see you're still alive, my friend. Damien? Damien, you there? 
Oh, yes, hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey. Sorry, I was just speaking in my brain without moving my mouth. Um, so the price of a <laughs> ticket is too steep on this floor. So we're thinking of alternatives. Oh, you want to get funds? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too steep. You're paying for these? Huh? Oh, no, we don't want to pay for this. Of course not. You're not falling for the Duke scheme, are you? Uh, Come on. No, that's... of course. But, I mean, five. they're paying 500,000 points. It's brutal. Oh, by the way, Wu, this is Simon. Hi. And this is Robin. <clears throat> Robin's not much of a speaker. I mean, she does speak, but uh, she, uh, she, she'd rather not speak. She, like, glares over at you. Just, uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, will you? So? Oh, I thought we was talking. Sorry. So they say hi no, to you. Okay. They say hi to you. So. Uh, I'll know. These, okay. These okay. two have been climbing with for quite a, quite a while. Damien's Since a good Since the buddy. 30th floor. Good buddy of ours. <laughs> so. It makes me happy to hear that. So we are thinking. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas? You being the brains of our operation? Oh, you give me too much credit. At this point, it's a little tough to say. I honestly think that if... How many people need tickets? How many tickets are we looking for here? Total. Obviously, we're not boarding the train, so... Well, assuming that Wu has his own ticket, it'd be just the four of us. Oh, you have your own ticket. Oh, five, 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 five. I do, and we could have gotten more, too, but let's see what you have in store. Easy peasy. Well, what, that's five to six tickets, something like that. That should be no problem. We have a couple options. Wait, five. He pulls up his, uh, he pulls up a lighthouse and starts typing on it. Okie dokie. So, hmm. Damien, feel free to search while I'm doing this. I think the best thing to do might be, hold on. He's taking a closer look. How many tickets are even in the market right now? Just a couple hundred, it looks like. There's no way they allow all those people on the train. I have a feeling there's going to be some kind of prerequisite. They're not going to allow anyone with a ticket to get on. So just letting you guys know that getting the tickets, the first step to boarding this thing. Now, it seems like the Duke claims a majority of these tickets are his. We don't know exactly the number that he has, but based on his reputation, I assume at least partly it's, it's at least partially true. The Duke has more than half, at least. Okay, you can confirm that. So, option A is we either try to get rid of this individual and loot the tickets, but I think that's a bit too risky. I think the better option is instead searching for the regulars that the Duke hasn't reached yet. The Duke clearly has some level of influence and some level of dozens of gang members that are able to locate these tickets, but these are just goons. These, these people don't have the, uh, the, the smarts that, no offense, that, that we have. We can use that to our advantage. Mm-hmm. And if you're about to say what I think you're going to say, I think that... We have the particular skill set to get this done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you suggesting, Simon, that we pull off a train heist? Train heist? Yeah. Figure, you know, the Duke's goons know these individuals are targeting individuals who may have tickets. We follow the goons, we take them out, take the tickets, disrupt the obs uh, the ob uh Operation. The operation. Thank you, John. It's <laughs> the ob ob operation, as well as getting tickets for ourselves. It's not a bad idea, right? Sounds somewhat appealing, right, John? Woo, Brack, Shion. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Sounds like you. There's a lot of risk and very little reward. What do you? What guarantee do you have that you can execute this mission properly? Little reward. We're going for the big reward. That's yeah, crazy. if you fail, it's pretty washed. Well, yeah, of course. Any failure is a wash. It's expected. <sighs> but the payoff is to win. We'll take out the goons. Take maybe what, some of the tickets that they may have. And then we take out the regulars who also are going for In this plan that you're concocting, Damien, do we embarrass the Duke, as it were? 
Of course. Well, we disrupt his operation. He's not. He. he not he only should. do we disrupt his operation, we make it look. No, it's null and void. It's it's useless. He's garbage. She only I mean, looks if very I... preoccupied. She's barely contributing. Keep... Once he figures out that this method wouldn't work, he has to find an alternative, right? That I don't even want him to have that. He should be in such shambles that he can't even progress with his plan. Someone like that isn't strong. And that's exactly who he is. And that's what needs to be shown. I don't have time for people like that. Damien's well, plan is sound. What's the execution? Uh, follow. Have someone scout out the men where they're going. Uh, probably in a big group. They would probably want to ambush re strong regulars because, you know, group power and numbers, of course. Maybe the possibility that we'll have to possibly fight Eden. How do we know that he's getting his tickets from strong regulars? Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he mentioned that, didn't he? Yeah, but it's easy to pass on a lie. So, it is. The, uh, it's, it's negligible at best. So sorry, I, well, I, I zoned out a sec. The plan is to tr follow the Duke's followers and then take the tickets from them once they acquire them. Yeah. I don't think it works like that. How would it work then? I don't think the Duke would trust his followers enough to. So the hold followers on to the tickets. are taking the tickets from strong regulars. We, we right. know this as, as fact, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, the Duke's not running around collecting them himself. At some point, they are wholly in their position, yes. So while they are, the tickets are in their possession, we take the, those tickets from the henchmen. Simple. What happens if Aki shows up? Huh? Well, simply, <laughs> there's six of us, right? I mean... The real question I mean, is, are you really willing to fight her? I may not listen. Look it, but if there's I'm six of us, now. we simply split up into two teams and go after two sets of followers. Damien, what did you say? I mean, I don't think we have to worry too much about Aki. We've all gotten stronger, right? And then you discount her growth and strength. No, that, I've been that, that keeping a tab on her since I figured that, out she was here a week ago. That doesn't matter. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't because it's no we're... joke. You can't actually be serious that we'd be fighting Aki for real. You can't actually be serious that your resolve is so thin that you don't think that that's something you might have to do. Nothing to do with my resolve. I'm with... telling you, Shion, that there is a very high probability that one of us will have to fight Aki. Doesn't make and sense. And that is on the table. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do it, then. I won't force you. She doesn't need a fight. But... She needs someone to... She... I know. She needs someone to be there for her. God. I know. We know. Unfortunately, for better or for worse, the situation at hand is not how any of us would have liked it to be. Personally and impersonally. And Wu glances at John as he says that The think... only thing that matters now that we're here is that we accomplish what we're here for. Exactly. Put yourself... If you don't have the resolve to do that, Xion, regardless of what the outcome I'll is. Do what needs to be done to get a ticket. All I'm saying is that if we can, I'd That's like to good. avoid fighting her. Should lead her into fear, I'll intercept her. You think you can handle you sure you want to shoulder that? Uh, I owe it to her. So that's the plan. Sounds good. There's going to be a lot that has to be done outside of that. But there's one caveat. I want to be the one to put bones in the dirt. You want to kill him? No, just humiliate him in front of everyone here. That is what if I one. do that first? You want me to call you up? We can make a game out of it. If we kill 
bones. It would just no, free it up. He power. won't die. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not. He we're not will not die. So humiliating we're just gonna embarrass is him. a better plan. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He needs to learn that that's not how things work. All right. Well, I think we should just focus on getting our tickets first, and then we can worry about what happens to Bones. I've got one more question. What's up? You've all, <laughs> you've all known Eden a lot longer than I have. Is there any reason why she would team up with some loser like him? Lots of them. Can't yeah, really put my finger on any one of them. But all I know is that he's not using her, she's using him. He nods. Okay. When are we putting this plan into motion? Uh, well, I, we have to start as early as possible. Well, we have a scout and a light bearer here. Be perfect for scouting out potential followers. Oh, you guys missed my scouting, didn't you? And my Hugo nods work. like thank you. That's like the most expressive you've seen him this whole time. <laughs> okay, so Simon says, "All right, are we? Uh, what are we doing? Be beginning this today? Tomorrow? What's going on?" Yeah, we can track the tour right now. These uh, these regulars. Let's get started. Why not? Okay, should be pretty simple. Just gonna actually. Hey, you you said you were a scout, right? And looks over you, Will. Who said this? Simon. Simon, don't address me so casually. Put the Sama on my name, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, he asked if you want to pair your observer with his lighthouse. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I haven't fully comprehended this lighthouse okay. or, or this yeah. observer. Simon, so unfortunately I can't sync it like that. But um I'll transfer all the data that I do have currently to you if that works. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. We'll use this and Robin, I'm gonna and then he's working with Robin and he beckons you over, Damien. We're gonna need cameras, okay? We're gonna need to see if we can amplify you know, you're trying to figure out a good way to kind of locate where these goons might be going. Okay, says so Shion. I'll head out for a bit and see if I can't gather any intel uh, by talking to people. Jong, you want to come along? Yeah, sounds good. Better than waiting around here. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Hugo gets up as if to join you. What, you want to talk to some people with us? <laughs> she kind of smirks. <sighs> Shrugs. Looks around. Nothing better to do. Not... Hugo, why, why don't you stick with me, bro? <laughs> he looks <laughs> He looks over at you, and then back at Jong and Shion, and he nods, and then goes over to you. Mm. Okay, sure. Hey, Shion. Hmm? You mind if we meet up later? Uh, sure. Got something to run by you. Sounds fine to me. All right. Let's get the plan going. Simon beckons you over, Brack. That's skinny. <laughs> Name's Simon Dreyfus. Uh, I've, maybe you've forgotten. <laughs> okay, Mon. He shakes his hand. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> From what I know about you, I, I have heard a bit from Damien, and I end, you know, seeing you at the battles in the workshop, I, 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 I've definitely, I've scoured them over, and you are quite the regular. I've got to say, the way that you go through the Shinsu, can you explain what that process is like? Yes, it's a lot of blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, to be fair, Simon, you can't just give Brack the floor like that. <laughs> no, how dare you try to ask this man proprietary secrets? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> he just kind of nods, you know. All right, I, I, I tried. Um, Heart sank. <laughs> my, my, my point no. is that. Uh, go ahead, Damien. Don't take it personally, Simon. Fair enough. Fair enough. Simon ain't Before saying Brack's nothing. Many isms. Oh. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Okay. No, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. 
Um, I did have a question, though, for you, Brack. You are pretty good with Shinsu, right? Regardless of the methods, you don't have to divulge your secrets. I am what some would call a guru, you know. Wow. A proud that's, one. That's amazing. I'm, I'm honored to be talking to you. I would love to chat more be. later. Okay, well, so my idea was this. How often are you able to wave walk? As long as I'm moving, I can get the groove and I can wave walk four times. Four times? Before okay. I need to rest. Fair enough, fair enough. So keeping that in mind, if Robin, and Robin kind of steps forward, was to help you with your chinsu, can you take other people with you when you wave walk? Brack puts his hands on his shoulder and he wave walks him outside like in the air. <gasps> amazing. This is this is this is amazing. Okay. So the You know this is the part where we fall, right? <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, Brack want him to scream. Wait, wait, Before hold on. we go back in the room, he needs him to scream. <laughs> so so did you teleport it like literally outside the eleventh floor window? Yeah. Okay, okay. We're we're out the window right now. Nice. He says amazing and then he falls and he starts yelling at the top of his lungs. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. As soon as we're about to hit the uh floor, I just wave walk us back into the room. Uh, <coughs> wait, hold on that. <laughs> 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 I probably was a two in character there. I <clears throat> sorry. I was trying to cough and drink at the same time. Okay, so um, <laughs> um, so that was amazing. Uh, that's exactly what we need. Uh, so here's my plan. Robin goes with you. Robin is a wave controller. Robin is and <clears throat> Robin grunts. Robin might be able to assist you in in helping you gather Shinsu and help with your breathing and maybe allow you to wave walk even more than you're capable of now. Is that something that seems doable? Because if you're able to wave walk as much as I think you could be able to, I think you would be acting as our scout, heading out there and seeing if you can truly find where these people are. Once we gather the intel, you could even wave walk her in, grab the tickets and wave walk her back out. Simple as that. It's a good plan. You're pretty smart, huh? Uh, well, thank you. Uh, my father is pretty far above me, but I try. Don't put yourself down, kid. No, it's... it's... Bro, he was the smart one, right? Huh? Uh, yes. Yes, he is. I think the frog is lying. You might be not as smart as... No, no, you're the smart one. So, you're sorry? Smart one. I'm, I'm not picking no, up... No, 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 no. My bad. It's just brack, yeah. brack brain, brack brain, you know. His, his dad is the one who offered me the contract. Right. My dad. Oh, is so they're Dr. cunning. Dr. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. As I, I bite into my onion again. Oh, my God. <laughs> you scared? Okay, okay. Cool. I have three, three onions to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're good. You're good for a while. Jong and Shion, you've you've headed out, and you're gonna try to talk to some people. Jong, could you give me a uh, persuasion check? I sure could, Joseph. I sure could. Awesome. Shion rolled terribly. <laughs> da, 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 da. Break is not doing her justice. Oh, uh, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. I mean, I'm over here. I'm rolling fours. My players are rolling. Joe. Sad. Um, persuasion. That's because you're rolling for Shion. Shion. You're yeah. not wrong, but like. <laughs> um, I am starting oh, to no, you are rolling Christ, for? Bro. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he didn't change the dice like we uh, discussed. Uh, you never, never sent me, you after you never class me about the dice. That. You said you'd send me the dice. I will be speaking with you after class. <laughs> okay, That's okay, all okay. I'm going to say. I think I'm in trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Uh, 17. Here. 17. Okay, so so Shion mm. tries, but I think people are, are – they're more willing to talk to you, especially people who are a little uh, – they like the fact that you have that, that blue hair. They, they're interested. They want to chat you up and see if there's partnerships, which mm. obviously I would assume you don't take, but you're able to gain some information during that whole process. Um, 
And, you know, first of all, you learn a bit about the uh, Band of Bones. You learn, you know, oh, they say the name Aki. They say that the Duke is apparently really good at, like, uh, he's, like, a great leader and that everyone respects him. And he's been at Train City for about a couple years now. But in the past few months, his ticket, his, his method of collecting tickets has been rampant. And regulars are scared uh, to enter certain areas of the city. Areas that you would think... Uh, it would be with less people, but it's actually heavily populated areas that these, this seems to take place. And no one, not even regulars, they're too afraid to um, stop it when it happens. Uh, these buffoon, not buffoons, that's the wrong word. These, uh, <laughs> these, what the, what is the word I'm looking for? These gang members, these, these band, I don't know. These, these, the, the gang members will, will travel in groups, right? Uh, a okay. handful of groups, and they'll usually single out one regular, even if it's in the middle of like a party or whatever, and they'll beat the hell out of them and get their ticket like just in broad daylight don't broad daylight doesn't matter because no one's stopping them hooligans mm -hmm. goons goons is i think goons is what i was looking for thank you chat goons. An iron fist okay. goons. Yeah, yeah, um yeah. so we okay okay yeah 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 um but you also learn that uh apparently you encounter somebody who claims to be uh, affiliated with the Band of Bones. How so? His name is Bob. And he says that he's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll say no more. You should have learned that. <laughs> so, so Bob, Bob over here, he's like, okay, so... Bob from Band of Bones? <laughs> yeah. This is an acronym. <laughs> Wait, how do we get here? What are you talking Hannah, about? Hannah, oh, that's Hannah. a genius idea. I swear that wasn't my intent. <laughs> uh -huh, I like that uh -huh. a lot, though. That's uh, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> Band of Bones. Um, so Sing home, Bob Bob. Bob Bob. No, he's, he claims to be, like, affiliated. And, and, and he says he has connections, but you quickly gather that just means, you know, he's, he has some friends who are in the organization, right? Mm -hmm. Friends of friends. Friends, of friends. he's yeah, willing yeah. to uh, sell out if you pay him some money. Um, hmm. All right, here's the issue, though. Uh -huh. I don't believe a single iota of a word out of his, his mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really inclined to pay him. Can I do... Your loss, uh, I guess. Would it be... Oh, hold on, hold on, relax. <laughs> okay, man. okay. Can I do like an insight check to see if he's sure. telling the truth sure. about these said connections? Mm, just... Ooh. Where's inside? Where's inside? Oh my god, you think? Oh, okay. Uh, 18. 18. Let me roll for Shion here. <gasps> okay. That 20, yes. that 20, that 20, Thank that 20, that 20. The tide has changed, everybody. Oh, she's looking you at see, it's, it's only old, a matter of God. time it's until old. she starts getting what oh. she deserves. It gives until it she gets on the train. His soul. Okay, Hannah, shush. No, <laughs> Hannah, 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 why'd you do that? Hannah, why you, why, 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 why do you wish that evil? Hannah, if you don't have the talking We're stick, all... please refrain from speaking. <laughs> and actually, if, you, if you're not, if you're not talking, Steve. It's a joke. Look, real talk though, if you're not in Xion's corner right now, please jump there because like it's a long road ahead and there's a lot of trains. Okay. Hey, we're moving on. So um right, anyway. <laughs> so you try to kind of gather this, but she owns the one that kind of takes the initiative. And uh okay. through some, you know, back and forth, and she's she poses some some trick questions and she's able to gather and she whispers to you. He doesn't know. He knows somebody who knows somebody who's in the gang. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh... So how about it? 100k? I'm willing... I'm willing, I'm willing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? All right, here's what we're going to do. Tell him, John. We need... I'm going to... I'm going to write down a time and a location. Yeah? And I want him to meet me at that time and location <laughs> in which I will pay him. But, but, but I, what I you, usually do wait, is... what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to give him a time and a location, right. and I want him to meet me at okay. said place at said time, but, and when he does, but, I will pay him. But, but, but oh. I'm a cautious man. 50% down. No, no, no. You don't have to tell me anything until we meet. You can uh, hold all the information until we meet. Okay. Uh, sh um, how do, uh, right. Where, where are we meeting? Where are you meeting? 
Where's the location you picked? Uh, we're gonna meet on the chewing train. Oh, I, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's the chewing train. The it's the chewing, chewing train. train. It's fire. It's, a, it's, uh, a, it's a fire. Wait, when, Joe, what time does the train leave? <laughs> we don't know yet. Oh, we don't know. Yeah, the hell train leaving uh, is a general idea. Sometime right. soon. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? All right. I'm positive. Where? A chewing train. All right. I'll meet you there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. All right. See you then. That, that dude don't know nothing. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just wasted his whole day. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to cut to Hugo and Wu. <sighs> been sighing a lot lately, buddy. How you been? Ah. Uh. Almost forgot what it was like talking to you. It's, well, uh, he looks like he doesn't know what to say. Wu puts a hand on his shoulder. Look, Hugo. I didn't talk to anybody for most of my life, even to this day. Hell, even half of this is just me emulating somebody else. I get it. There's something about your presence that puts me at ease. You don't have to force yourself around me. Just, just know that I'm here. He nods. So, how's it been? And you can keep nodding. I'll get it. The, uh, the climb was not too bad. It was long, but I like this team. As you should, they're great people. You guys climb some hellish floors together. That's all. Yeah. But something about my heart felt at ease knowing that you were with them. You're strong. And you've been through a lot. I hope you stick around with us. I hope I do too. Now, if only I can get back in this guy's good graces, man. Who? Who do you think? I don't know why he's so mad at me. I thought we had an understanding. <clears throat> he, uh, he's the leader. He might just be looking out for the team. Nope. That's not it. I'm sure that is what he's doing. Every step of the way, but something's up. Either way, I guess I'm not the same person I was either. What do you think, Hugo? You met me before I changed. What do you think? He looks at you uh, up and down. I think you're the same old woo to me. <laughs> And that's why I like you. I don't think my heart will change. And then we'll get really serious, but my action is certainly will. Anyway, we should get going. He nods. Leaving him waiting. He nods. What do the two of you like want to do? Like we don't need to show it, but what's what time is it? I'm. I'm gonna say it's like now, like 5 p.m. Uh, Going into the evening. I would say this is a good opportunity for me to go grab a bowl for Pixie. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. We're gonna cut to Aki. Aki. Alrighty. You've made it back to the loft. A couple more hours of having to deal with people. Uh, you did get. A couple of regulars who were willing to uh, pay the price, you know, and it took and it took a while uh, to to negotiate because they really didn't want to have to pay that price, but they did. They forked it over, and uh, they the Duke personally handed them a brand new fashion ticket, a genuine deal. No incidents that you've had to uh, step in for. Step in. Yeah. Does she, uh, would she have heard, like, their names and everything? Like, their team names? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you would know them if they were ever brought up. Yeah. Okay. You, would, you would know them. 
she makes a mental note. So just two people? Two people so far, and uh, you got he's got a couple meetings coming up. Okay. Hey, so what was with that commotion back in the chewing train? Hmm. Well, the old teammates. Drama. I don't know. I guess they didn't like me uh, showing them up a little bit. <laughs> right. Jealousy. Yeah. I heard it's the number one flaw in this tower. There's a lot of flaws in the tower, Duke. You know, I heard from some of the boys. Apparently, there was an individual in there that looked kind of strong. Someone who I don't think was on your team. And you know the boys, you know how they gain their intel. You know how thorough they are. Apparently that individual was walking around with two whole tickets. Really? Yeah. Which one? Says she had a motorcycle helmet. Ah. She's above our pay grade. I'm sorry? She's above our pay grade. You know as well as I do that nobody's above our pay grade. Mm. That one probably is. Aki, you're not scared. No, I'm being smart. You know who this person is? First time I'd seen him, but I've heard of him. Hmm. Well, well, well. So if I was to send you out to go, say, apprehend an individual such as that person and grab their tickets to add to my collection, you would disobey me? Did I say I disobey you? I'm just putting it out there that they're a little stronger than the normal regular that you tend to beat up. Or I beat up for you. Hey, boys. So you want me to go? You want me to go after her? How about this? Hey, boys. What do you think? Should we send our Rocky after this individual? <laughs> yeah, go get Rocky. <sighs> the boys have spoken. He puts oh, a hand no, on your shoulder. Ever will I do? I trust you, Rocky. Hmm. <laughs> All right. And after that, we'll talk about Steamy. Honestly, I'd take tickets over money any day. The Steamy thing is probably something my goons can handle. Right, boys? Yeah. Even though we call them goons, they're all they're down for it. <laughs> they, <laughs> they've been called worse. <laughs> they got nothing else to go on. Yeah. I, I follow your orders, boss. Whatever you want me to do. Coolio, coolio. Um, he tells you a bit, uh, I'm going to say, he says there's no time limit really. By tomorrow would be nice if, if you were to able to track down this individual. But do you offer to leave, like, sooner than that? I mean, she, she'd go whenever he told her to. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, he wants you to go now? She'd head on out. All righty. You head back out into Train City. All the hustle and bustle around you. All the monitors and shows being played, some of the news. You're able to catch a little bit of the news, I'm going to say. Oh. Uh, I like news. I like news. You like news? I like news. You mean news? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba Something appears on the screen. Welcome back to Tower News. Tonight, it is I, Orman, discussing some of the latest and greatest events from today. And the guy on the screen is kind of an older gentleman with, uh, he looks older, but he's got youthful, spiky black hair. We have someone on the scene discussing the latest about H1's memorial. Merc. And it cuts to Merc. He's this guy with uh, blue skin. He's got a single eyeball in the middle of his head and a pink mohawk. Ormin, it's great over here. Apparently, it's been seven years, roughly, since the death of our beloved hero from the workshop battle. And as you can see, he, I'm here on the 30th floor, and he points behind him. And there is a statue of the beloved H1 here uh, in the flesh. Well, not really in the flesh. <laughs> uh, but I am here, and I gotta say, 
That, it is a beautiful statue. Uh, so, Merck, uh, talking with the individuals who are there, uh, what else have they mentioned about H1 or the events from seven years ago? Oh, let me tell you, these people do not forget. Apparently, they're hosting another workshop battle in just three years. Apparently, it's going to be a regular thing because of the success of the show. But, of course, as always, we can't forget the sacrifices that were made by the regulars who paid the cost for the betrayal of our beloved mascot, Oreo. And uh, Merc does a salute. And some regulars' faces fly by on the screen. You see Benny, Vulture... Yen Rising, you see Nyal, you see Maggie, you see some other members of her team. <sighs> Truly, the Unforgotten Heroes. Back to you, Orman! And the rest of the news is kind of boring stuff. I really wanted to fly to fly into that guy's mouth. <laughs> Family got a shit, bro. Honestly, I miss Janice. And I hate this. <laughs> you miss Janice? Can I? Okay. So you're able to catch that. Is your goal just to get intel on the location of Leonida, or what's your what's your goal? What's going on, Aki? She would. I got. She gonna pull out her pocket. <laughs> She gon she go what? Sorry. <laughs> Mon said Vivithy and two sad faces, two, two sobbing oh faces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten, Mimothy. Gone but not forgotten. Eden's gonna pull out her pocket and place a call to Percival. Percival, alright. Percy. The boy. Uh hello? Hey Purse, what's up? Eden, hey, how's it going? It's going. How have you um, been? Getting work done. Nice. That's speaking of. Yeah. The uh, the guy I'm working for to get tickets. Mm -hmm. Um, he's put a top. He bleh, words are hard. He put a hit out on Leonida because he knows he's she's got two tickets. Leonida. Mm hmm. And I'm supposed to take her out. So a little awkward there. Um. Okay. You tell uh, me where she's at. I can see if I can figure it out if you give me a few minutes, but yeah. why why do you want to know? I'm just gonna go talk to her. I'm not gonna attack her. I'm not well, dumb. Right, but I just yeah. Let me see if I can figure out where she is. I'm sure Leonida would be fine with meeting up with you. Yeah. Does that work? Sure. Cool, I'll set something up then. Nice. Alright, uh talk to you later, Eden. It's good to hear from you. Ah, good to hear from you too. Alrighty, bye. All right, see ya. I'm gonna say that with everything that's happening, let's say it's a good 7 p.m. Is that a good time for everyone to kind of reconvene? We can say that you did stuff during that time uh, regarding the operation, regarding the plan that you want to put into practice. Does that work for everybody? Mm hmm. All right, let's move forward to 7 mm -hmm. p.m. Cool. All right. Everybody meets back up, I'm going to say, back in the same room, uh, Simon and Robin's room, and Damien's room. Everyone kind of meets back up. Brack, you have had a chat. You've arrested a bit to make sure you're prepared for the operation, but you've had a chat with Robin, and apparently Robin is someone who's able to amplify your Shinsu. And so in doing so, if you're able to travel around with Robin, you might be able to get an extra two or three wave walkers uh, out than you normally would be able to. Is Brack okay with this plan? You'll do. You'll do as a great backpack. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Keep my battery charged. <laughs> <laughs> she nods. She grunts. She nods. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Simon looks like he was going to say something. I'm glad you two are getting along. Turns back to you, Damien. Is he normally like this? Yes. Yes, he is. Got it. Got it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you talking about me over there. <laughs> Nothing bad, I assure you. He said, am I always like this? No. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Breakfast darts his ass. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> 
Uh, Wu and Hugo return. Uh, Wu, do you want to say you and Hugo did anything else during that time aside from feed Pigsy? Uh, I would say that Pigsy has taken a very huge liking to Hugo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That, I, I totally that's, agree. That's mainly the only thing. Uh, and I did pick up a bowl. I will say the bowl mm -hmm. is in the form of... Yes. A small silver flask akin to what Zushi would have. That's such a cool idea. Okay, got it. I'll message you about that later, too. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So you return with Hugo, and uh, you see everyone's kind of hard at work. Jong, Shion, you've returned by now. Did you share what you gathered from everybody? Or to everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. So everyone kind of on the same page regarding how they operate, where they, you know, where they target. So Simon says, okay, so Damien, it looks like they attack not in the shadows because of how brazen and stupid they are. So all we got to go find are places with a lot of people, yeah? Yeah. I figure the most uh, most people will travel during the day-ish. And then they uh, Sorry, you, you, yeah. You're right. What about pubs? What about parties? After night parties, any chance of that? Hmm. Maybe we should wait for the morning. But, but I, I do think most people with tickets are probably going to be, you know. Yeah. yeah they're they're going to keep it, stay safe, you know, stay in their hotel room until the time comes. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Anybody who has a ticket who hasn't isn't here already. Hmm. Interesting. Not to say we should start picking down doors. Makes sense to me. So what you're saying is. We should probably wait for tomorrow. I think so. It's been a long day for everybody. And you have your rooms. It might be good for all of us to kind of catch a break before we begin the operation tomorrow. He looks around the room at everybody to get their uh, approval. I guess so. My only concern is we don't know when this train is leaving. She looks around as if... Uh, is that an unfounded fear to anybody else? She has a point. If we don't have a time, or the odds aren't exactly in our favor if we wait. Better to be well rested than to screw up. Well, I think we should wait. And I don't. I can't say the train won't leave, but this way it's safer. Makes sense. She kind of yawns. Oh, doing some extra sleep wouldn't hurt, I don't think. Hey, uh, Simon, right? What did Damien ever tell you any cringy jokes while you were together? Ha! <laughs> Tons of them! Damien, why don't you tell us another one? Why don't you brighten up the room a little bit? Why don't you mind your... I don't have any jokes <laughs> ready. <laughs> why don't you mind your business, Simon? <laughs> Oh, sorry, just, you know, looking to light, brighten the mood a bit. No, 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 you're good, you're good. I'm just joking, you know. I just, I just you know, hang on, let me just, uh... Hmm, okay. Uh, hang on, just looking up on my lighthouse. Okay, okay. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Rob Robin, play the drum beat. You know. Robin, don't play the drum. Don't play the drum Please don't play the drum. <laughs> Robin, come on. We've been on a team for, for the last seven years, uh, two years. Come on. Robin, you know what you must do. Don't play it. Robin does not play it. <laughs> Damn. Sold you out, Damien. Like a stale bag of biscuits. Crazy. Damn. What did one hat say to the other? <laughs> He can't stop. You wait here. I'll go on ahead. <laughs> you could play the drum, Robin. <laughs> Robin, uh, Robin doesn't play the drum. <laughs> oh no. There, there, there must be a spare drum set in my lighthouse. Just check. Okie dokie. Give me just a second here. Okay, so overall, the, go ahead, go ahead. The, good, what did the buffalo say oh to his God. son okay, okay. when his son left for college? 
bison. <laughs> like bison, get it? <laughs> Brack gets a broom and tries to sweep Damien off the stage. No! <laughs> He's standing on the couch. Robin, I'm so good at this. Robin will do a little da <laughs> Michonne starts laughing. Guess it really is you, despite the arm. You, uh, taking a note from Ace's book? I heard she no, has an arm, no. too. Did not get information, uh, inspiration from that. It was all Dr. Dreyfus's idea. It's a way to sort of... It's kind of complicated. Maybe I shouldn't explain now. We should probably get some rest, but essentially, if you were to... He looks at you, Damien. Should we get into if this now? I mean, why not, right? I guess it it's a way sense. for man and weapon to be closer. In a way, this weapon is more fluid now that it's part of me. My arm isn't gone under here, by the way. But it is definitely uh, taking its toll. Toll It how? is, uh, well, it takes my blood, actually. Well, that sounds worse than it really is. Ultimately, I mean, it's a just little, a temporary a little process. Bit. It doesn't really draw from his bloodstream. It's a borrowing, uh, which he quickly replenishes. This body quickly replenishes. It's a pretty simple process, just a bit of biology. Takes my blood, <laughs> converts it into power. And that power I can use. It's pretty cool. Makes me a living weapon of sorts. He pretty much Dr. is Dreyfus a living is... weapon. Dr. Dreyfus is hoping that this will help regulars all over the tower. Give them a chance to go up against the dangers easier. Anyway, and that's yeah. essentially all there is to it. No, makes perfect sense to me. But anyway, I think that's probably enough for the night. We should probably all head to bed. <laughs> Meant to cut the shield yeah, in there. Don't worry about it. Whoa! Whoa! Feels like that happens every whoa. stream now that I'm. That was the, the most. Yes. That was whoa. the most fucked up transition I've ever seen in my life, dude. I was like, dang, John what, doesn't even what, get to roll. I was like, what is he doing, time? dude? Oh my God, <laughs> this is oh. pure demon time right now, dude. Uh. All right, cool, cool, cool. So uh, I'm going to say that everyone kind of agrees that they're going to head to bed for the night, um, kind of all file to their respective rooms and such. Um, yeah. There's two rooms. Uh, in addition, Damien's staying with these two, but there's two other rooms with three beds each, like, uh, yeah, three separate beds in these rooms. Who wants to bunk together? I would say Wu is not included. Wu has been staying in his own room for the last week. Sure, okay. So, so the four of yeah. you have to choose between these, like, two rooms, six beds. Come on, Damien. Let's let the lovebirds have, share a room. What? I'm, I'm staying with my team. What? I have Are the business class tweet. Me? Come on, Big H. <laughs> you know the routine. We've been going through this for, for seven years. Let the lovebirds get the room. You three boys get a room. I'll stay in here. That works better for me. Work good. Sounds good. All right. Come on, Slackers. Yep. This is the first time in seven years that you've offered that. That's not what? true. That what is, did you do, John? That is not true. <laughs> all right. All right. So the three boys get a room. <laughs> the three stooges. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you all start preparing for bed. Woo, you start heading back to where you're staying, which is a separate hotel, um, I would assume. But on the way out, you notice there's the hotel that they're staying at. It's getting pretty lively. Apparently, uh, the the bottom floor has kind of been cleared, and people are starting to dance and, and, and hang out, and it's a good time. Um, but, yeah, you're able to leave no problem. But as you start to leave, hey, Woo, Shion chases you down. You said you wanted to chat, right? Ah. Uh. Uh, I figured I'd catch you tomorrow, but seems like you're doing well. Things considered. Can I be honest? Sure. She... Well, want anything less? She kind of beckons to sit down on a nearby couch. 
Things will be Wu just kind of like jumps back and like puts his hands behind his head, kind of leans back. Things have been great. It's weird because the climbing portion has not been ideal. Um, we spent a lot more time in certain areas than I would have liked because of our lack of positions. And as much as Jong stepping up to be leader has been very helpful, and I'm honestly surprised at how well he's been doing, there are times when I do miss having Eden on the team. There's a certain closeness that I feel like we don't quite have that the team used to have, but we get along great, and Jong is, he's, he's especially shining during this climb. His confidence Whoa. is, it's inspiring me, you know, to be more confident myself as his vice leader. If anything, you're already holding him up more than you are, you know. The interesting thing that you said is what we used to be. I don't think it's that far off. As a matter of fact, the reason that you think of Eden's position that way is simple. She's invaluable. Every single one of you guys are. I've known it from the first moment I met you. I've been doing everything in my power to make sure you guys have a future since. Especially now. You're right, he's definitely stepped up, but I'm worried about him. Just promise me that you won't leave his side. Of course not. Of course not. But how about you? Even if he turns against me. I was going to ask about that. I was a bit surprised to see how he treated you. I didn't expect it either, but I guess he didn't read my letter. And even if he did, it's not important. I made him a promise and I let him down. I'm done making promises. That was my problem. There's a lot I can do right now. For him, for you. For myself. For Leaf. I'm focused. So, whatever you need from me, just know that I'm here. And even if he won't let me in, I'll always be there for him too. Thanks, Wu. He's a bit... Well, you know. He's a bit. You know. But he's stronger than he ever has been, I can tell that much. He's stronger, and... Of course, you know how he feels. And how he cares. Well, I trust him to lead us. That much is sure. Just know that... There's a few things that I learned that I might not be as forthcoming on. At least until we get this so-called Aki back. I have to believe she's doing this for a reason, right? No doubt. But until everything aligns again, and we can all be on the same page, let's just have a little bit of faith. As long as we all board this hell train. That might be difficult. But, like I said, it should work out fine. We should be fine. Now, Get some sleep, Shio. Thanks. Good to talk to you. You too, Will. Take care. And then, as you see Wu walk off, he's reached his stamina cap for the day so you see him like heavily exhausted and sweating and like removing his clothing and whatnot and retiring to his room got it perfect um this is kind of like a last call for something people want to do bef like before they sleep and then i'm going to cut to aki anybody going once um yeah so Although there are all three of them in the room, this has been something that has been happening frequently, like um, throughout the seven years, well, not throughout the seven years, but since uh, the 34th, fourth floor and Kilt didn't show up to meet Brat. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as Brack lays down to start sleeping, um, as he's as he enters a deep sleep, uh, the the dream that he has comes back um, when K took over, and it reminds him of the day that uh, he considers the best day of his life. Except now there's a twist to it. And there are flames that are starting to erupt at the park. And then Kane turns back to Brack and tell Brack to run and hide. As both Kilt and uh, Kane go off into the air to meet the force that came to meet them. He's been having this dream recurringly? Yeah. Okay. So he once again has this dream. Aki, you've been given the meeting place. You've been given the time. It's in an alley away from the action. You know where it is from exploring the city. Yeah. By the time you arrive, you see motorcycle helmet, same as before, leaning up against the wall of the alley. She kind of puts up a hand to wave. She'll nod. What up, Elle? Leonetta gets up from the wall and kind of walks over to you. Pulls up her pocket and shows you. <clears throat> hey, hey, is Eden there? Hello? Who is it? Oh my god, Eden! Hi! You see smile hey, on the screen. Hey, smile. How have you up? been? I've been. What about you? Uh, have you met up with the rest of the team yet? Uh, you know, kind of. Getting along like family? Like a good dysfunctional family. Oh, that's just so fantastic. I'm calling because, look. And she points and you realize uh, she's pointing behind her. She seems to have uh, gone back onto the Xeno because she points down and she points at Bool in his bed. He's like hey. slowly opening his eyes <laughs> and then closing them and slowly opening them. A slight smile. smile. Did, you sneak in, did you sneak in there when you weren't supposed to? Don't tell father. <sighs> Look, smile a, a watch pot never boils huh and the injured bull will never heal if you keep sneaking in there a watch pot never what i never heard and that, that one. watch oh smile you haven't cooked then it's fine nope Just... <laughs> okay look bull does all the cooking rest well you need to let him cook so he can heal but but look he's he's getting better i know that's great you doing okay? Yeah, of course. I'm always doing good. You know me. She kind of narrows her eyes at, at Smile like, mm, I know things. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just don't bother him too much. Be helpful. Of course. I'm always doing my chores. But I hope you and the rest of the team are getting along okay. We're counting on you. Uh, yeah, about that. Oh, oh, say hi to everybody for me. Say hi to John. Say hi to Wu. Say hi to Brax. Say hi to Smile. Ian. Hmm? Smile, sweetie. Like, you know, uh -huh. saying hi to them after our last meeting, I know, like, we're okay now, uh -huh, uh -huh. but they're not probably okay. With me? I will tell I them hi in my mind for you. Does that sound good? Yeah, just tell them in your mind. That just works great. Perfect. Just we'll do in that. your mind. Okay. We gotta we'll work on that. Bye. We'll work on that. See you later. Bye. Leonidas. She's a lot of work. Brings the pocket down. Oh, she's a lot of work. Okay. Um I felt like I need to tell you that the Duke of Bones is targeting you and wants me and was sent me to take you out tonight. Cause you have two tickets. 
Are you coming along? Are you supposed to, like, watch over us on the train? Leonida kind of pulls the two tickets out. They're hooked on, like, a little keychain. Mm -hmm. And then she puts them back into her pocket. They are very gullible. I was hoping to talk to you more. I know things didn't exactly go well in there, huh? Yeah, they didn't quite go well. So what's your plan? But... Uh... Father needs all of you together for the plan to succeed. I know. Not gonna lie. I was hoping there'd be a little more concern and less confrontation. Didn't quite happen. Um... I don't know, maybe I can twist the duke around my finger and get him a deal. They're kind of stingy when it comes to money, but I mean, I've got, I got like 480 points. I could buy maybe two tickets. I don't know if Icear can help me out on that. I really don't want to do the work for them because I feel like they need to earn it, but they're kind of going about things not the smartest way. Can so, I be honest? Yeah. You might just need to talk with them. Outside of the Duke's gaze. Yeah, that's going to be kind of hard. I mean, they're pretty antagonistic. Not that I wasn't, but I have a role to play. I can't, like, be like, oh my gosh, other team, I missed you so much. With the Duke breathing down my neck, it's... I was hoping they would catch on, because I'm not, I didn't try to hurt them. I just, you know, dodged and evaded and just tripped them. But, I don't know. It's because you're all stubborn. <laughs> you all think what you want to think. Well, isn't that what got us in the state that we're in right now? You hear a popping sound from inside the helmet? Yeah. Is she, is she do I know if she's chewing bubblegum? She's chewing bubblegum. Yeah. She's chewing bubblegum. She's chewing bubblegum. Bubble she's chewing bubblegum. <laughs> you caught up. Yeah. All right. Anyway. I know father needs us there, so we need how many tickets? What is that? Seven? So Damien, Brack, John, You got your freebie Sheon, from the Duke, right? Hugo. Yeah. Does she, does she have it on her person? Eden? No. Or, Not yet. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, I ha I will get it when I enter the train. I was kind of hoping to have it before then, but just coax it out of them. Get it early. In worst case How scenario, early I can spare one of these tickets, but I'd really rather okay. not. Okay. Do you think I should try and work my magic on the Duke, or should I go talk to the team first? I think that's up to you to decide. I think both are required, but the order. Might depend on a couple things. It's already getting late. Maybe Duke first, team later. Hmm. Well, the other problem is, is if I go to the Duke first, cut them the deal, and then they refuse, then it's my ass on the line. Maybe I should talk to him first and get them to cooperate. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I gotta get going. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you, and I appreciate you not trying to kill me. <laughs> I was never gonna hurt you. I told him you were above my pay grade. I'm not <laughs> dumb. I know, but still. I know my place. Even though I act like a little arrogant shit around here. Your place? But... You're one yeah. of the foundational pillars of ice here. Your station yes, is far you're... above mine. Yes, but I'm still a D rank regular. So you gotta know what battles to pick. You know? Mm, I imagine enough. you're a little stronger than a D-rank regular. I'm just... I get the vibe. Still a regular, but sure. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look, you, you got two guns, an a SMG, and a bat, lady. I've got a, sp I got a stick. She, like, like, lightly taps her with the spear. <laughs> I'm not gonna do much. Especially if you shoot better than that blazer kid. She looks at your spear. <laughs> I had to throw that. I, was, yeah, I knew it know, was going to be It was going to happen in time. Yep. You know? Did you know him? A little bit. Did you like him? A little bit. 
Well, I hope I do him justice by it. You will. I aim to try. All right. The guns don't matter now. to me. Just this. She taps the bat. Later. She starts walking away. All right. Bye, Leonida. Oh, I'm sorry. L. <laughs> she just keeps walking. Yeah. Eden pulls out another cigarette and lights it. Fuck. <sighs> All right. Ugh. Like, shakes it off. She starts walking towards the hotel she knows they're staying at. Okie dokie. Sounds good. We start heading there. There's the hustle and bustle. I'm going to say at this point, probably like... 9 p.m. going on 10 p.m. Um, and she's trying not to be seen because there's a lot of the Duke's minions right. around, so she doesn't want them to see her sneaking okay. out this okay. way. Give me a just give me a stealth check just in case. Sure. That's not bad. What is my stealth modifier? Do 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 do. Seventeen. Seventeen. Not terrible. Yeah, yeah. Nope. I mean. <laughs> This is an amazing roll. They're goons. They're goons. <laughs> yeah, they're goons. They're goons. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, after some time, you enter the hotel. But once you enter, is there any way you determine the room number that you're heading towards? She's going to go up to the receptionist that they probably know in there <laughs> from the Duke's employ. Yes, the receptionist is good old Bus Bus, a lanky gentleman with a top hat and an extraordinarily long nose. When I say lanky, I mean he's like a stick. With his hands at his side, with his super long nose. A wonderful day to you. Hey, bus, bus. Oh. There's a team of regulars in here that were kind of fucking with the Duke. Oh. I want you to tell me their number. Oh, immediately, Aki. Tips the top hat. That's going to be 1101. I was never here. She, like, winks at him and passes him, like... Some credit card, like some physical credits, like you could hand off to somebody. Sure. A good night to no one. Fantastic. Be seeing you, Gus Gus. Okay. You head to the elevator. Brum. 11th floor. And you get off the elevator. And as you do so, you get off, and Shion's like just about to enter her room, and she looks over at you. He uh, just like grabs. She owned by the back of her neck and like walks into the room with her and closes the door behind her. What the? F <laughs> and then you see, okay, okay, she notices that something's a little off with you and that you're not hostile. So, so yeah. you walk into the room. What the? What the hell are you doing here? What's going on? I'm trying to help you guys. Holy cow! Okay, look, I just talked wait, wait, to Leonida. Wait, 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 wait. Are you? You're not. No. Shh. Okay, what? Some of the things I said was true. Like hell maybe it was. Maybe a little, little sharp. Oh, shut the hell up. Like hell it was, Eden. And you see your eyes getting teary-eyed. Oh, Shion, look. If you need to punch me and get it out of your system, go for it. She's I deserve punch you. it. Okay. She, I mean, she rolled pretty high. Uh, that's, that's uh, she's, Eden's, Eden's okay. letting her do whatever. Just so a face... punch across the face as hard yeah. as she can. <clears throat> Those new gauntlets fucking hurt. Ow. Okay. You good? good? We good? We're good. Okay, cool. We're good. Great. Summon summon the children. I think they're sleeping, but I'll do my best. I'll be right back. Terry call! She just yelled just it shut, super loud. Shut the hell up! Oh my god. Uh, uh, she goes out and knocks on the boys' door. Boys? Boys? I want to say that Jong is the first to enter the door. And he answers the door, and when he does, he kind of looks like he's out of breath a little bit. You good? What? Joe, re message, Joe, re message. Sorry, 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 sorry. But I got. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Thumbs up. All right. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, hey, you good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's... Eden's in the, my room. Eden's in my room. About what? Just get everybody in here. Team recall huddle up. She gets in her pocket and texts you, Wu, in case you would like to join the meeting as well. You're muted, Wu. 
I said I sent you a message as well. Shoot. So, okay, like... sorry. Oh. I am missing these messages. <laughs> uh... We'll take a quick TV timeout while Joe responds to all the messages from the lovely party members. Okay, also, okay. Damien gets a message too, just to make sure you're included. <laughs> Yeah, of course, Damien. Yeah, but she would also so please, knock on Damien's please. door. Damien, you in yeah. there? Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Of course. I was just doing my training routine. What's uh, up? Come join us. We need you. I just need to do three more reps, and then I'll be right over. Okay. And then what did you say? I I I do want to be there. So mm -hmm. can we just like make this before like timeline? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. We'll cut. It's, okay. It should be brief. So right. should we go? Right, Rewind. Cool. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, like, what I said. Because I don't... Yeah. I don't, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, Bashion also wants to make sure Brack and Hugo go right. along. So, uh, Jong, are you responsible for that side of things? Yeah, yeah. He went... Okay. He got uh, Hugo and Brack and woke them up. Sure. So then, Wu, we'll do your phone call here. Pocket call. All right. This got to be muted, though. Oh! <laughs> Okay, our first mute session You're since the hiatus. Let's do not go. Make this Dude, sorry, we're, back. No, no, no. we're back. We're back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we're truly uh, back. I'm going to the stream. Yo, you know why it has to be muted. It's not this. I know, I just, know, I know. It's awesome. Business. Uh, Alrighty. Everyone is muted. Okie dokie. So, woo. As he's like removed all his clothing and he's he's pretty much passed out. This is like immediately after he left Hugo. Mm -hmm. He opens up his pocket. Wait, 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 wait. After second. Oh, yeah, after 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 the Hugo thing yeah, and yeah, after yeah, the yeah, Xion, yeah. the Xion conversation. Bartimus yeah. the second. You call Bartimus the second. All right. The pocket rings for a good minute, and then right as you think it's gonna go to like voicemail or whatever. Hello. Sir, I've made contact. What's the progress? Not much yet. As you know, I got my own goals here as well. But you'll get what you need out of this. Don't you worry. Very good. I'm glad to hear it. I've got a nice... There's just one thing. Gonna need a little bit more money. More money? Hmm. What have you been spending it's it on? It's a little. It's a little bit more precarious here than you think, sir. Remember the incident back on the thirty-second floor. Of course. How makes could it look I like guess. a joke? So. Just a little bit more money. You'll get what you need. I'll get what I need. And we can progress further. You should be there by the morning. Sounds excellent. But One more thing. Hmm. I trust you won't fail me on this. Wouldn't dream of it. You were going to say something else. Oh. That reminds me. It's just a little thing that you haven't been very forthcoming with. The Duke. His revenue stream. Where is it coming from? I'm not sure I'm ready to divulge that. I could get in quite a bit of trouble. <sighs> your deals and such never mind I'm overstepping my bounds we have an express agreement I'll be in contact soon take care good night alrighty I'll tag everybody cool beans and that's around when you probably would have gotten the notification about Shion saying we need you now Eden is here and Wu puts back on the clothes he just took off yeah. and goes over there. Alrighty, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Okie dokie. At this point, uh, Jong, uh, well, Brack, uh, Jong waking you up, does that go okay? Do you want to describe that a little bit? Okay, so 
when John comes back into the room, it's like he's walking through a very thick mud. And he notices that Brock is sweating heavily and tossing and turning in the bed. But it gets thicker each time he tries to get closer to Brock. Until he finally gets there and he wakes Brock up. And as he wakes Brock up, it's like a washing effect where the density just starts to go away and gets lighter. Brack. Brack. <laughs> Hugo looks concerned at Brack. Are you okay? I was sleeping. It was a nightmare. There was fire everywhere. Um... Uh, we gotta, we gotta go. We're, we're meeting with the whole team. I mean, what time is it? Don't worry about it. It's just, it's important. Okay. Oh. Brock gets out of bed. He has nothing but his boxes on. And he's dragging, like a giant version, a giant stuffed version of the chipmunk from a, uh... <laughs> what is the singing from chipmunk? The 20th floor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. That's adorable. Okay. And I want to say as Brack is leaving, Jong just kind of gives Hugo a look of yeah. like, like he's very concerned. Yeah, Hugo would have been like big eyebrow raised, like what the hell? Okay. So Eden, slowly, people that you know very well start filing into the room. Where you're standing. Shion, Jong, Brack, Hugo, Damien. And in a couple minutes we'll we'll we will be there, but for now we wasn't there, we'll say. Yeah. Just for this initial part. Alright. Well most of you are here. I'm sure Wu's on his way. Alright. Look. Deal is you need tickets, right? Right. Um Father needs us all on the train, so I get the inkling that it's leaving sooner than a lot of people around here are saying. So we need to get you tickets quickly. We don't have to fight you. I'm not fighting you. I appreciate the concern, though, Hugo. Sorry for kneecapping you earlier. I really do apologize about that. Um, so, um, I've gotten close with the Lord of Bones. He holds the most tickets. It was the most advantageous path to get tickets and have access to them. I'm going to propose something to you guys, because before I stick my neck out, I want to make sure we are in coordination, cooperation, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try and wrap him around my finger. I pretty much have him as is, but if he offers you a discount off the 500k, would you all be willing to pay it? He also has a very low opinion of you right now, which is good, because him and his goons aren't as strong as they let on to be. So if they become a problem on the train, we can take care of it, and it's a lot less headache for us. Wu, at this point, I would say they would let you I was, a, I was about, I was itching yeah. to just yeah, respond I know, to I know. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pay it for everyone, if that's okay. Huh? The full price? Price. I was going to say, Iceir could potentially help with the cost. We don't need their money. Why pay it at all? Why not just continue? Wait, hang on. Iceir? Yeah. We just talked to Leonida, Eden. They weren't offering anything. Well, they're trying to let the leash out on us to see how we can do on our own. I, but don't, I, I don't want to engage with that. I, I pitched want to engage it to with her that. and she said potentially. No promises. I could always talk to Percy too, but besides We the don't point, 
No, that's a waste of time. If you have this, if you've made this arrangement, and this man will agree to your terms, I'll pay the full price for everybody's ticket. I mean, I could try to get you a discount. I already have one. We don't need wait, a wait, discount. Wait, wait, Damien, go ahead. I thought we wanted to humiliate him. Oh, we will. After humiliate we humiliate him on the train when he's going to be severely underpowered. We don't have time to play the games we once did, Damien. We'll pay him full price. And let him feel like he's in control. He can have all of it. That's the and best then when he's face to face him. with us, he'll realize what he got himself into. Brack, Let him feel you, secure. Brack and Jong, I, I want to hear your opinions. Well, logically, the plan makes sense. Is Jong like looking at Eden or what's. No, he's not looking at anybody in particular. Brack, how about you? I hear what you're saying, Blue Leader. Red leader. Um, how does he normally carry the tickets around with him where he goes? Would she have that information, or would she not know? So, uh, yeah, you you probably would. It, it's it's kept in a secret location that even you are unaware of. That's where the tickets are I, kept. Okay. But he, so he's the only one with knowledge about that. He does mm -hmm. carry a couple spares on him at all times. Got it. He has a secret place where he keeps a lot of his stuff. He keeps a couple spares on him for people that actually buy them um, because it's apparently a tough process to get to this location and even I don't know where it's at. And I'm probably one of the high, most high up people he trusts. Right John, now. you start receiving a phone call from Bai, right? Phone Interrupting phone. right in the middle of this conversation. Bai starts calling you. I'm sorry, I need a minute. Jong heads for the exit. Uh, okay. We're just gonna briefly do this. Sure. Gasu, you there? Gasu! Yes, I'm here. What? Hey, there's my boy. <sighs> Apparently this guy, Steamy, you're still in, right? We're still in. Yes, just okay. give me the details. He's being so apparently, uh, he caught onto our scheme, and uh, the next couple days he's being protected by the Duke of Bones. Ever heard of him? <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with him. That's that guy's no problem for you, right? Even if you had to fight him. If that's who you want dead, he's dead. I just want Steamy dead. I don't care who else goes. And if you do that, juicy Coon Silva information coming right up. All right. Yeah, I'll take the job. Steamy's dead. Let's go. I can call you finally be CEO. <laughs> You can tell he's like so drunk. Is there anything <sighs> else? I bye. And he hangs up. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Alright. Uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, so so continue the conversation, Aki, and Jong will, like, rejoin in the middle of it. <laughs> okay, so if I set up something early tomorrow morning, I can go to him tonight and get it set up. I'll transfer you the money tonight. Show you have beforehand. to buy them in person. As far as I'm aware. That's right. So I have to meet with him. Yes. Fine, I'll meet with him. But... Not alone, right? No, we all should go. Good. 
does this mean, and she looks at Damien, that our original plan is off? Should we well, tell your friends? Original, the original plan doesn't work if everyone's not on board, so... What was the original plan? I... Come on, you don't... Wu we, we would know the original plan. We would, we would have been there as a part of, like, the discussion and... Sharing he was part. Of, he was part of. This. Oh, that! No, no, no! We can't do that anymore. What? There's no way. We know at least the train's not going in the morning. We know that much information from what Eden says. That's facts. This plan that I have concocted doesn't involve Icear or Eden risking themselves. This plan, we achieve the victory on our own. Which is why I'm more in favor of doing what I've concocted. But obviously the plan doesn't work without everyone else. My plan gets us tickets, but doesn't guarantee us. I mean, if enough. you're hell-bent on doing it yourself, Leonida might have one ticket to spare if you're short. But that's I think this plan stretch. is simpler, and it allows us more leverage, though. Unfortunately. I'm more akin to spending the money. Uh -huh. Well, it doesn't work without you, so... Question. Where... Too, too much lies on other things. My plan relies on just us. Being competent. Being good. Other plan involves Aesir. Involves Eden risking herself. It won't be All a big risk. I'm only going to ask like it. a 10% off. All it involves is Eden's interaction with this person being genuine. If he wants money, and that's what he's driven by, he'll get his money, and then we'll be done. It's very simple. It's just, that's the thing. It's just simple. I mean, it's really up to everyone. Well, well, is Team Recall no longer doing democracy? She kind of leans back in the chair she was sitting in. I can't force anyone to do take part in the plan they don't want to do, right? Hardly part of Team know. Recall at this point. You guys decide for yourselves. Look, all I am is I'm offering the option. So I need to know I'll if you're going to take it, if I'm going to stick my neck out. I'll take it simple. Everybody gets a ticket and we walk out of here as soon as possible. I, have I can money pitch it to spare. him that a new benefactor came in. He purchased the, mm -hmm. this team's protection Wasn't services. He very and... adamant about the ten great family buy. You can throw my name around if you need to. Well, I'll just say that you were a big benefactor from the Locobia family who hired this team to help you on the Hell Train. He's going to think that you hired a weak team, and it's going to be happy to take your money. Mm -hmm. And then I can I set up think. an arrangement to, for you to meet with all of you. All of you present, and then you can all buy the tickets. This unfortunate um, mean unfortunately means that Brack and Robin won't be wave walking all over. Do we need another one for his friend? That. Hmm. Do no. we have other people we need tickets for? Uh, Damien, your friends aren't joining us, are they? No. Hmm. They seem pretty cool. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. No, they, their agreement was just to take me onto the hell train, and then that was all. Fair enough. So the workshop didn't guarantee any tickets? Huh? It was an option, but I didn't take them up on it. They yeah, offered you a premium package, and you said no. I respect it. I, uh, well, my whole goal for climbing now is to fight stronger opponents now, so... I figured this would get me stronger opponents. I think the stronger Proud opponents are going to be on the train, to be fair. I just need to know, am I setting this up or not? If not, you all are on your own and I'll see you on the hell train. Eden, I'll do the deal myself if I have to. They're being stubborn. It's simple. We'll set it up. We'll get tickets. And we'll I mean, get I'm to okay our true objective plan. sooner. I'm okay with either plan. Because it is, it's not, it is not a bad plan. I just think that this offers us the most freedom. 
No, we don't owe anything. To, when a transaction is made, Damon, we no longer owe anything to the person that we made the transaction with. It's clean. I mean, why not just forego the whole transaction? Because it's not. But, you know, I, I, I've said what because I. Because it's. To say. Just trust me. Just, just trust me. Shion, what do you think? I hear you, Damien. She looks over at you, Eden. I, I do. I hear you. But. Are we all sticking together on this? Plan A or plan B? There's no chance. No thought of any of us splitting up to do two at once. I already have a ticket. I'm doing this for you guys. It's simple. It's quick. It's easy. We move on. We conserve energy. Brack, Hugo, anybody else want to chime in? Hugo looks at Brack. Come off, we're low blowing the guy. We just walk up to him, we low blow him, we demand him to tell us where the, his ticket stash is, and You'll we get to jumped. the pool. You'll be jumped by enough people that you won't be able to fight them off. Man. I've seen it happen multiple times. People think they can do that, and it doesn't work. And it was flies to a windshield. I, I'm just saying. I agree. With Even that. if we got to him, which we could, let's not lie to ourselves. There's no benefit there. I really want to. Let's just do this. Just. Let me make the transaction. It's low effort I, for I, literally I, I, everyone. I really want to embarrass the Duke of Bones. He will be embarrassed. Trust me, I despise him as much as you do. And this way, not only does he think he's winning and he'll get the rug pulled out from under him, but we don't have to expend extra energy. So, Which plan are you inclined to follow, Hugo? To be honest, Yours looks at you, Damien, but I'll go along with whichever. Well, John, you've been awfully silent. Oh, am I back in the room? Yes, you you would have been back oh, pretty oh, oh, my quickly bad. after. I, I should have said something. No, you're good. I just I misread that. We take the deal. Play the game. It doesn't matter. I can personally promise you all, the Duke has what's coming to him. So you're with the Eden. He kind of narrows her eyes at Jong. Mm. What do you mean by that? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. I would. So Eden, could you put the deal through for us? Nah, I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. How about we uh, call it a night, get some sleep, we talk to well, Eden again in the Eden. morning? Eden needs to know now, right? I have to know now. Makes the most sense. We should go with Eden's plan. Can we, Red Leader. can we just make the deal, please? Red Leader. Blue Leader, if you don't mind me saying this. Red leader, put in put in the missive or whatever you need to put in so that he can bring the tickets and we or Wu, since you're so willing to give up your own money, bless your heart. Um and we just do the deal that way. Let's just do the deal. It's so much simpler than going through extra effort when we might need him for a little while longer i'm up for embarrassing him don't get me wrong the old me would have shunned him to begin with and made him look like a fool as soon as possible but i want to extract every utility i can from him before i do so i am just gonna remind you not as a former leader or even a former teammate but just as a regular climbing the tower Embarrassing people isn't a high priority. Getting the jobs done that we have waiting for us, like Leaf, is a little more important than pulling somebody's trousers down in public. Well, that's what yeah, I that's think. What I we need to get our thinking. focus back on the actual mission. That's okay. My point. Good. I'm gonna go set this up. 
I will contact you. I will see you in the morning. Jung, please don't fly off the handle. Brack, get better sleep. Damien, you'll get stronger on the train, okay? I am already strong. Uh, yeah. Okay. Come here. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna... If you guys want to get your comeuppance and embarrassing me will make you feel better, I am at your leisure as a punching bag. So, you can get it out of your system if you want. Only one hit. Otherwise, I gotta go. Before Eden goes, Brack goes to give her a hug. She like, kind of awkwardly hugs him because it's been so long. It's just kind of like her. She doesn't know the boundaries yet. No, 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 no. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> she just kind of still just kind of awkwardly hugs him. Okay. Anybody else need to get anything out of their system? I got mine already. Yes, I know. And like you can see like a little like shiner on her on her yeah. chin. <laughs> like, ooh. Going once, As going I'm twice. As I walk out the door, I put my hand on Eden's shoulder and I say, we are counting on you on this. When have you never not counted on me? She like ruffles his hair. Well, my plan would not have counted on you. Jesus. Tomorrow morning, and Wu just puts his cloak back on and leaves. Just be safe, okay? You know, say Wu. I've been safe this whole time. See you in the morning. She will quickly head back to the old lofty poo. As everyone else kind of heads off and preparing for bed a second time, Eden, you head out, returning to the loft. You find the Duke of Bones still there. This time you see him with just a few of his goons, I'd say four. It's kind of empty. It's pretty late at this point. Welcome back. Hello, boss. You got the I tracked two your target. For me. Well, she kind of like points to the shiner on her chin. She's a little stronger than we thought, like I said. But hmm. I got a tracker on her, and I'll track her down tomorrow. Tomorrow's too late. He starts to get up. Should be any second now. What Looking do you mean? Around. Hell train's leaving tomorrow morning. You Good to not. know, because I ran into somebody on the way back. They were trying to meet with the same person, but she got away from them too. A big buyer's in town, great family member. And he agreed to your price full price. I don't think we have time for that now. We'll hold a couple more meetings in the morning. But now we're charging one mil per ticket. It's their fault for waiting too long, right? And if they keep well, me waiting, we'll charge two mil. People are going to get well, desperate with the train leaving so early. It's a perfect opportunity for us, right? Playing back I mean, track. Mm. Well, you know, I was doing my job in facilitating this. Probably not good to piss off a great family member. I think you could cut him a deal. Mm. Original price, 500k a ticket, seven tickets. He looks at you. Don't make me look bad now, Duke. Make you look bad? Yeah. The hell train's leaving at noon tomorrow. Uh-huh. I was just told. Yeah. You're saying we squander this opportunity we go by our base price when uh -huh. we could be making triple, quadruple, easily. But here's, here's the thing. You get a good family member, and I hear he's got a couple good family members on his team, great family members on his team. You get them on your side by cutting them a deal. They'll be your pawns on the hell train. And that makes some very valuable allies. Because all those little punks that are going to be paying you triple price, if they couldn't get their tickets on their own by themselves, then they're going to be no contest to you. Who is this guy? It's from the Lopo Bia family. A little reclusive, but they got lots and lots of money. 
One mils. Seven fifty. You want allies, Duke? Why are you bargaining for him? Because, like I said, I already said the ba the price was five hundred k. You're gonna make me look bad. You don't want me to look bad, do you? Aki. As good as I make you look and make you feel. I'm talking. She like snaps to attention and doesn't say a word. Thank you. He looks at you. The last thing I want is to make you look bad. I'd love to talk to your little friend, but I'm a businessman. Train's leaving tomorrow, and I'm finally gonna learn about my family. It'd be a shame if I squandered this chance. We're sticking with one mil. But hey, if he's charming enough, maybe he'll talk me down instead of you. All I need for you is to protect me, remember? My apologies, Duke, for stepping out of line. It's all right, Aki. We all make mistakes. He smiles. And as he says that... She's mm. going to use the eyes of charm on him. <laughs> you know, I was wondering. I was wondering when that was going to come into play. All right. Let me just pull that up here. Okay. I was like, she's definitely going to do this. Okay, dokie. So I'm reading the tower scene guys chat <laughs> for, for, for all you guys. Uh, okay, let me see here. Do you have it here? I, I, I'm for I do. Oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. He so. needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Got it. What's your DC? Do you know? Oh, uh, good question. <laughs> I think for you it's eight. It's like con, I think, that determines it. I think it's con. Yeah, it, it, it is, it's, for sure. Okay, then it's, oh, that's a 14. Oh, Eight no. plus three plus con. Yeah. Okay. Eight plus three plus con, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to roll here. That's an 11. <laughs> so. She'll, like, saunter up to him and, like, sit sideways on his lap come on duke and she'll like blink her eyes and activate <clears throat> and like look deep into his eyes 500k you'll have allies and what better members to help you get information about your family than great family members that have all of the resources in the world You know, you make a solid point, Aki. Hmm. Really solid point. Thank if you. you. Give me the tickets tonight. I'll make the transaction right now. And you can sleep on a bed of money. Bed of money? And if money? you talk to me if you talk to me nice enough, maybe I'll join you. Huh. Sounds kinda tempting. Tickets tonight, huh? I need seven, and I know you got seven in your pocket. Seven in my pocket. I need seven, right? I can't remember. I think you only need five. Wait. Damien, Hugo, uh, Brack, Wu, Jong, Xion. No, six. I got to get it. It's six. Five. Wu doesn't need his. Okay. Yeah, yeah, five. Five. <laughs> Addendum. Five. 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 <laughs> five. Seven. Five. Wait, it is five? It's not seven? Apparently, because we're not it's taking six, the other right? two. Well, Wu has one, and so Damien, Brack, Shion, Hugo. You need one, right? Well, she has hers. So okay, six. You don't have yours yet, right? So she would be getting one. Right. So six. Okay. Okay, six. Addendum part two. Six. Six tickets. I can make that happen. Unfortunately, I, I only have four on me. So go ahead and send those points over, huh? And as he's saying that. Wah, wah, brrr, and a huge announcement across the city as the clock strikes 12. All the monitors blare the same exact message. Attention regulars, the hell train is departing tomorrow at noon. And this is like super loud, so if you were trying to sleep again, this would probably wake most of you up. Attention regulars, the hell train is departing at noon tomorrow. And, uh... 
chaos erupts immediately. But we're going to end it there. I think that's a good place to end things. So thank you guys so much for joining us on our return episode of Towers and Gods. This was fun. Thank you to the cast members for being here. Another long episode today as we kind of get back into the swing of things. Yeah. Anyone want to say wanna something? Do like another We're hour. Back, baby. Another hour? I don't know, dude. It's pretty late. We, <laughs> we could, started at least late. Got, we could have got to the bottom uh, of what was going on here. Yeah, Look, bro, I'm ready to see. Uh, I'm ready to see this thing you promised us. What are you? I, th oh, I did yeah, not you promise. Right. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's oh, you did. Oh, and it's recorded. Yeah. 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 You did promise. You did promise In something. Roll the tape. In credit yeah. scene. Thank you all for In watching. Yeah. We're gonna be live again next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time with episode 63. As we continue. And thank you for all your generosity. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so 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 much. You're the goats. You guys are the best. Thank you. And Jimmy, stop it. Oh my God, Jimmy. Jimothy. What are you doing? Yeah. You know. Stop. Keep going, Jimothy, if you want to see that book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no stop. We do not no, condone no, that. We do not condone no, 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 that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, he's met His views do not represent my <laughs> that, was, that was a brat quote. Just so you know. <laughs> Oh my it was a deleted God. scene. That, Don't worry about that it. That wasn't even Millia. That was a wreck. <laughs> no, shout out to Nat, Felix, Mustafa, Dart Angel, Amaterasu, and now Jimmy. Holy crap. Thank you so much, Jimmy. That's insane. You're insane. You're insane. Thank you. You know what, Jimmy? You deserve to see this. We're going to cut to something. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Bye. Good night, everybody. Peace. Take care. Goodbye.